This is Yuria. Being true to who you are makes all your dreams possible. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to yet another Yuria stream. How is everybody doing on this fine Wednesday? Wednesday, yes. <clears throat> I, uh... I have been productive this morning. Well, not, 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 maybe not productive, but I, I did stuff. <laughs> I guess there's a difference. I, um... I've been really wanting to fix my sleep schedule, as in get up earlier, mostly. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is we Wednesday. Anyway, I went to bed quite early last night. I couldn't quite fall asleep early. I fell asleep at around 1 a.m., I think. I set an alarm for 8.45. I think I actually got up at around 9. No, actually, like... I slept until 9 and then I just kind of stayed in, in bed. Because of my cat. Who was super, super comfortable. It's like, oh. And then... I was petting him and he woke up and he like climbed on me to cuddle. It's like, oh, now I really can't get up because <laughs> you're being so cute. <laughs> I woke up at 6 a.m. too, obviously to feed, to feed him. So I don't have the best sleep, I'd say, because I always get up at 6 to do something and then I go back to bed. But maybe because of that, I don't feel particularly well rested. Turning up these tunes. Man, I had waking up early nailed one day and my work asked me if I can do after hours immediately ruined. When I had a day job, my schedule was pretty normal. I would go to bed around 11 p.m. Because I was just tired. It's like, well, just going to bed. Like, 11. That's pretty good. 10, 11. We get up around, uh... 8 or so. Yep. Pretty, pretty long sleep. Still. But at normal-ish hours. But, uh, I uh, got up and, uh... Put on me clothes to uh, to go for a walk. I did some groceries. My shoulders are kind of sore right now, <laughs> and I stopped by Timmy's like a true Canadian, and I got myself a large black coffee. And you know, as long as you like, as long as you don't get like weird. I don't know, like Starbucks has, like, your your weird f frappe caramel vanilla bullshit. Like, the price is good. Like, I got a, a large black coffee and it was $1.70 US. I think it was like two something Canadian. But I think that's a pretty good, pretty good price for, you know, a coffee place takeaway. <laughs> Tim Ta Timmy's boo. I know, I know. But it's like, I was like on the way. Yeah, I know that like the actual Timmy's coffee is actually from Mac like McDonald's has that now. But McDonald's here is way further. I would have to walk so far. <laughs> and I started walking back. Or like I was sitting there at the, at the restaurant. And it started snowing, like, really bad. It's still snowing. Please! It's almost the end of April. Uh, you're still getting snow in April. Yes, there's a snowstorm right now. <laughs> Uh, 
It's because I changed your <laughs> summer tire. <laughs> like, we could stop. Weather. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna snow for the next couple days. <laughs> so, why? It finally has gotten, like, nice again. Can't have shit in Canada. That's true. It's not unusual. Sometimes guys would send me photos and it would be super high in uh, in Iloris. And it's like, oh, well, I was late for work because my car was snowed in or whatever, you know? It's like, oh, what the fuck? You guys still have snow? Now I am experiencing it for myself. But I wanted to get out of the house while I was still able to walk, at least. Without there being a shit ton of snow. And uh, it was good. Despite on the way back, it was like very windy and it was like snowing pretty hard. And like my hair was getting in the way, it was getting in my face and I was carrying two bags. <laughs> uh, the struggle and I had my coffee in one hand. <laughs> I still have it even. But yeah, it felt, uh, it felt sort of productive because I, I got up early and went out of the, and went out of the house. There was a lady at the store, like a, like a grandma. She fell, like, I don't know. She just straight up fell over or something, you know, old people. It was pretty worrying, like they were calling an ambulance and stuff. And so I was like, it was like pretty quiet at the store. So I was just like at the self checkout, like. Bleep. Bleep. It's like, well... I can't really, like... Sh There's already, like, a bunch of employees and people here trying to help her. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, I would love if they need me, I will help. But I was like, they probably don't need me. I was just like, I feel awkward. Like, bleep, just scanning my stuff. <laughs> and then leaving. <laughs> You're experiencing early Canadian settler experience. I've played so much against the storm. I learned how to deal with rain, not with snow. Maybe they will add that in an update. Snowstorm. Ugh. And last night, like, I've been trying to work out a little bit more. <clears throat> So I have been lifting <laughs> in the evenings, like after stream. <laughs> so I, I just put on like a fucking documentary or something and I just lift. <laughs> you kind of wrapped there with this though. <laughs> but my shoulders and everything is sore. How much are you pushing these days? Uh. Not not much. Like it's just like I'm obviously limited to the weights that I that I have here. Um But they are I think I'm doing like very, very low, like four or three I think four kilos in like each hand? Or is it Less? I don't know. Maybe it's four pounds. I don't know. But, you know... I don't want to push it. I'm just doing lots of reps with the low... Low... Uh, with the lowest. <laughs> I will slowly put it... Put it up. Also, German Empire Ball 69. Thank you for following. I like your name. Going slowly is this thing you do, you shouldn't and start... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I'm, I'm just doing... Like, and at some point, like, at the very much at the start, when you start doing it, it was like, wow, wow, this is easy, I should go heavier. But if you use the same, like, quotation mark, low, like, weights that you're used to, at some point, you're gonna be like, oh, actually, why the fuck is this so heavy now? It's because you're obviously doing so many reps. <laughs> Oh 
I'm trying to look for this image. Persians Gloria Intensify. What does that mean? Give me one moment. German Empire reference, don't worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Yesterday, I've, I've, uh, I was watching uh, I think, like one of my mods, like a LinkedIn video. I was like, okay, so, you know, if you have, uh, if you have people from America, you call them Americans. If you have people from Thailand, do you call them Thailanders? It's like, no, it's like Thai. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, it makes sense. People from uh, Japan or Japanese, you know, you know. And it's like, what's people from the Netherlands? It's like, ne Netherlands? Netherlanders? Netherlandiers? And it's like, no. They're the Dutch. <laughs> Nether people. <laughs> it's an amazing video. So I was, we were doing, it's like, okay. Actually, why? Why is it like that? And I know that in the... Uh... So Dutch very much sounds like Deutsch, right? Like German. And even in the... What do you call that? The... I know that in the Dutch anthem, they say we are of German blood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just from the past. So... In like the 16th century... They would just call like D Dutch and German people. They would just call them like they would have one name for them. They would just be called like the quotation mark the the Germans if you di directly translate it. All of them, and that changed later on. But I assume that Dutch is very much just based on the fact that it's like Deutsch. And they were all the same. I didn't know there was a third contender for the true German claim other than Austrians and Prussians. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know, the more you know. It's just an old... Uh, yeah, it's really just old language thing that has evolved in its native language, but it hasn't evolved in English. It's like... Deutschland. <laughs> anyway, the German talk just kind of reminded me. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Dude. <clears throat> I burned my tongue. <laughs> the annoying thing is, is, like, I got, like, the drink at TV's, right? And then I, I went to sit down. It's like, well, I'll sit, I'll sit down and have my drink for a bit. But it's just so hot. So you're just, like, sitting there. Like, okay. I can't drink it yet. I'm just staring. <laughs> and then when I finally tried it, I burned my tongue. Sounds like English people heard Deutsch and were like, huh, Dutch? Exactly. I mean, it's a pretty similar sounding language, I think. Especially if you don't speak either language. Should have blown on it, the cool. Yeah, you know how they. You have these cups that, you know, those takeaway cups. They put like a lid on it. And the most annoying thing about them. Is that you usually use your lips 
to touch the beverage first so you know if it's hot or not. But if you use these these lids, it just goes straight into your mouth. <laughs> they can both sound really funny in <laughs> We're having a serious problem <laughs> every fucking time. <laughs> Is a Dutch politician posting, we are having a serious problem, and it just looks like fucked up English. <laughs> you yeah, know, it sounds like the freaking Star Wars guy. <laughs> we are having a serious problem. <laughs> I fucking lost it. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, it was Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> we have a serious problem with the political entwikkeling, with betrekking tot the dwangwet, and I hope that that the coming days can be opgelost. This is too ac. No, this is like the sense. There's this <laughs> the other one. <laughs> We still have a serious problem with the polit politic on the weekly with the dwang wit and it hope that that the commander dagen can warden up the lost. <laughs> we still have an serious problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck is this no language? It is Dutch. <laughs> uh, it's not a real language. <laughs> uh, reminds me, like, add some video to save. Wait. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Uh. There, there was this video of like this, this, this girl doing like Dutch Duolingo. <laughs> and it's like the, f it's so funny. Oh, where is it? <clears throat> um, hello, welcome. And also, there's like this clip of like John Tron, like making fun of like, the, the city of Leiden. <laughs> uh, computer, please work with me. I found the John Tron video. Town called Leiden, which I'm sure you all know and love, is a little slice of heaven between Vorburg and Hofdorp. Listen, Dutch people, you stop sounding like that, I'll stop making fun of you. Fingers crossed behind my back. You fight. You're never gonna be stopped being made fun of. I'm never gonna leave the Dutch alone. <laughs> Leiden. Oh, I found it. I found it. Wait, 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 wait. Real town name. I see your sister. Okay. I see your sister. Zang, 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 zang. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I thought that Russian language is uh, hard, but. Okay, that's confirmed. Says as owns. <laughs> Dutch 
the fern still have you beat on the fern that one <laughs> something like the green worm something <laughs> Green, ver, towards, ver, ver. glass, ver, ver. <laughs> poor, vers, worm, ver, a green worm pours a glass towards a glassmaker around eight o'clock. Un ver, 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 un ver, ver, un verrier, ver, vingt heures. <laughs> oh, ver, 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 ver. <laughs> As a French speaker, I heard green, 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 green. <laughs> I don't know. I I hated. So I took French classes and I took German classes, and I thought German was way harder than French. <laughs> This is because they have like the stupid gendered like words. It's like, how the fuck do you decide that? I just remember the teacher saying, it's like, oh, like, yeah, you, you have words like hamster. Uh, obviously, that is a very manly word. <laughs> and it was like, ha what? Like, they have, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, both both French and and German do that, the gendered thing. It's same with Italian. Do you have like der die das? I don't know. The most manly is a worse. Mm hmm. Man, I hate it. I hate it. I just took, I just chose to follow more French classes because the teacher was nice. Like that matters a lot, right? True. I guess this is what you're used to. But I, I remember not having this problem... Like, having this much of a problem with it... In... In French versus... Versus the German. It's like deciding which word you have to use before the word. I fell from heaven. Thank you so much for following. So welcome, Pete. Thank you for streaming. Yeah, of course. Welcome. La pizza. Le pizza or la pizza. <laughs> uh, just look at the gender of the thing. You gotta... <laughs> so is this hamster male or female? Why? I gotta know before I say the wrong word. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that shit. Doesn't matter. It's their hamster, so it's male no matter what. Exactly! Like... Huh? <laughs> like eight... Height, eight, weight... I would hate... <laughs> Get it? <laughs> to learn English as... Uh, an extra language, like, way later on. Because so much in English doesn't make fucking sense. Especially pronunciation-wise. Honestly... Like, spelling and pronunciation-wise. Like, a lot of it makes no fucking sense. I was just very... I was just very lucky to... Learn... English from a young age. <laughs> yeah, it just... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just... It just clicked. So I was lucky in that aspect. Because English is my second language, but... In our lore, nothing ever got freaking translated. So I was watching English TV shows and, you know, playing video games in English. 
And those things taught me way better than actual classes. <laughs> One thing that I saw that helps the more tangible things words describe Use words of German origin while the words to describe more esoteric things are pulled from Latin languages I see Live languages versus study ones? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly And I know that in, lo in a lot of our na- in like the neighboring countries things get dubbed or translated very often for example like when i played video games there was always like you have the english option which was the base and then you had french german spanish you know like languages spoken in europe but they did not have the language of iluris obviously so you would just choose english Just go play video games to learn actual English. You mean that was it for me? Learning English from playing Pokemon, I swear. And it's weird how that goes, right? Because you're reading it without maybe having a real understanding of it. But at some point it just clicks and you... Yeah, you know what it means. It's, it's weird how that goes. And I remember in my actual English classes in school, it would be like, Oh, Yuria, can you explain how you got to that answer? And it's like, no, I don't fucking know how. I just know it goes that way. I don't know the, the grammar rules or anything. I just know that the, the sentence is constructed like that, you know? It's what Pokemon said. <laughs> Although nowadays, a lot more... Uh, a lot more things are translated, so I wonder how that affects the language learning abilities of children who play video games from a young age from now on. Because they do have things like, you know, mostly Nintendo games. Like, first-party games are usually translated now. I remember when I took my... I took voice acting classes, right? And we one day had a class with uh, a guest and this was just... this was a... Uh, was a voice actor who did... who did like, you know, cartoons, video games, a little bit of everything. And she... she spoke about... Uh, like she... her experience with dubbing Heavy Rain, I think? <laughs> and I was just, what the fuck? I didn't know that was translated at all. What the heck? Because she recalled the Jason segment. <laughs> I don't even know what her name is. Or it had like celebrities. I think she just had a smaller role then. Now it's even easier to learn English. I think... People... Uh, kids will learn English nowadays with... Like YouTube and stuff over... Over video games. I just didn't have that at the time when I was young, you know? Like YouTube, TikTok, most websites, yeah. I like the metal pipe. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Baby shark, ew! Learning English through skibbity toilet TikToks. I mean... 
If it works, it works, you know? Russian has a lot of that stuff too. There is a common phrase that breaks a lot of foreign learners, which means probably not, but has a literal translation of yes, no, maybe. I know a lot of... Uh, languages also have different meanings depending on the tone you use of the word. I know Thai has that. It's just like, how do you pronounce this particular like i i don't i don't know any words but i do know that they have some of that like depending on what tone you use oh asian languages have that a lot yeah yeah okay it means something different that's so confusing <laughs> Is it really though? Feels like because it's too easy, they're just gonna use ChatGPT and stuff to translate for them? Are you mean? Like... But not like real-time learning, right? Remember when they told us you're not gonna have a calculator on you at all times, so you gotta learn math, bitch. They were wrong. I do have a calculator on me at all times. <laughs> We're fun of saying, yeah, no, or not, nah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that are very, very confusing. Alluris has those things too. It's like, we have like a thing where it's like, yes is yeah, right? It's, it's one more, it's pretty simple. And if you say, if you, if you tell someone, yeah, yeah, in like a particular tone, then it's like, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Or th things like that. It's so stupid. You just have to know it. <laughs> it's indeed dizzy. Thank you for following. Calculator. Yeah, yeah, means kiss my butt. If you say it in a special way, bruh. Bruh. <sighs> I'm gonna do a hydrates now. I haven't... I... You guys redeemed hydrates, but I never redeemed them. Or at least I never did it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, means egg slash balls in Polish. Nice. <laughs> it's like how the the word cock means chef in Ilaris. If you are a cock, you are a chef. <laughs> but it's spelled K O K. <laughs> you just gotta know. I, uh... I... <laughs> like, in Japan? Yeah, kiss the cock. <laughs> cock. <laughs> Do you want cola? You ask, I want cock. <laughs> cola. Every time. Yes, cock. <laughs> Did, why it come? Why does it come up so much on my stream? <laughs> uh. I I remember when um when I was uh I was at Dodd's place and I was I was playing Splatoon and I was cursing a lot. No, someone else said it. I was cursing a lot, but I was cursing 
in Elorian. She was like, what are you saying? What does that mean? And I was like, oh, I say this word often. And it's kind of like, fuck. Right? And if you... Okay, I guess it's like... We're gonna... We're, it's like... Gonna teach you all. So, a similar word to fuck in Ilurus is good. Good. And literally translated, it means cunt. And something that they that we like to uh, say is calling someone a cunt woman. <laughs> like it's an insult, like a oh, cunt wife. Like, wife? So, women sounds like wife? And, and I was like, Oh, but that sounds so nice! Because it sounds like, Good wife! So she was like, We were just walking around, She's constantly saying, Oh, good wife! Good wife! <laughs> it's like, Good wife! Cunt woman! <laughs> But she made it so, like she put on like the cute voice like oh good wife good wife <laughs> oh you're such a good wife <laughs> yeah it sounds like good wife the one percent chance someone else from my is here is like oh good wife man She recently, I think she recently sent me a video of like, oh yeah. Your first swear word. Thanks. When you hear someone say cut for the first time, you're <laughs> your work bestie, what? You're learning so many important things. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> That's what good wife sounds like. It does. But you know, it's like it's also it's very much about the tone, right? And it's like you gotta get killed by someone and then say, fuck cut! Cut wife! <laughs> it's like you it's like saying bitch. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny, because apparently it, it's it's like, oh, when you say it like that, oh, good wife, good wife, it sounds very cute. <laughs> it's not what I'm used to. <laughs> and I love, I, I, I love teaching my friends uh, swear words, because I know Fuyumi says cancer all the time <laughs> now, but she says it in a Lurian. <laughs> She constantly says, oh, conquer. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It's fun. Good wife? Yeah, obviously she's just calling me a good wife. It's all about... The way you want to interpret it, I had to think about it. <laughs> Do your lingo stream? What language? <laughs> Do your lingo won't teach you. You get this shit like this, right? Like the. I, I just deleted it for my OBS. I see your sister. Okay. I see your sister. Say, 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 say. Like, what is this? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, I thought that Russian language is uh, hard, but. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I have a good video. Why?
What does that mean? They are. It means they are his sons. Zai Day, Zang, R, and Zain is like. It's also like, it's like R, but when it's like multiple, so it's multiple sons, not just one sons. Otherwise, it's just a simpler word. <laughs> Like a super old video. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's pro it's pronounced like differently, or like it's it's no no it's not pronounced differently. It's written differently. A hunter must haul vest. Yeah, I didn't want to make it a hunter must hunt, so I made it a hunter's harvest or something. <laughs> Uh, let me turn this off. Here we go. Hot for Domme. Hot for Domme. Cloud Jack. She doesn't say cut though. Cloud Jack. A call. Flicker up. Flicker up. It's more like fuck off, <laughs> I guess. Like no one says bugger off. <laughs> Pardon, lul. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't recommend anyone learning this uh this language though. It has so much it also has a bunch of grammar bullshit that even the natives have trouble with. Learn something new today. The the Dutch really like to swear in with illnesses, honestly. So that's what you will mostly hear. So let's say you have like the you have typhus, right? They like to swear with illnesses that have already died out. <laughs> so they have like typhus. So they just call you a typhus whore, something like that. Typhus whore. That's like when you say something you really you're such a typhus whore. They love they also love the word whore. <laughs> they put whore in everything. <laughs> Cancer whore. Things like, I'm sorry, Twitch. I'm I'm just like I swear I'm not I'm, I'm just teaching them language. <laughs> it's serious Sims language. I saw this post. Why do Dutch people say whore so much? <laughs> It's like the word cunt for Australians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, oh, fuck. It's like, oh, good. And, and, and cut literally means cunt. So that's like our word for like, oh, shit. Or oh, fuck. You know? There's like a Reddit post. Wait. Having trouble scrolling. Why is my Discord so slow? Why do Dutch people use the word whore a lot? That is like a whore or ya yeah, whore. Oh yeah, because the word whore, like, it means right. So it's like, yeah, right. It's like, yeah, whore. 
<laughs> yes, Homer. <laughs> uh, or that tastes good, right? Yuria used permitted term whore. You are allowed to say whore on my channel. <laughs> Wait, let me... Oh. Twitch keeps like, um... <laughs> We're stopping these messages. We're not sure if they're calling you a whore. <laughs> oh, I love this, like, Windows Movie Maker as video <laughs> quality. <laughs> Kurwa, I need, you must get kurwa some code because I not give you kurwa this PC kurwa. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, this is, is my car. We, we need kurwa no. with kurwa PC. It's like H O O R. No, not give not, not to, to how I can take kurwa. <laughs> then the joy. No, yeah, because kurwa, he say kurwa, you need some kurwa receipt or kurwa code. I no. <laughs> Yes, exactly like that. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please, you it's okay. Can you click can you can a mod click allow? <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> Why do I have to do it? You <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Out of <laughs> it's like, please no swearing. <laughs> you just really wanted the screenshot of Yuri I used ad permitted term. <laughs> <laughs> On a moment, this is a Christian channel, please. <clears throat> Language fun. Uh, I have to play, I have to continue learning Japanese with video games. It's a lot harder to get into, I guess. Because, you know, because you have to learn how to read it first. Shishinga <laughs> with Polish? Polish learning stream doko. No! No, 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 no. Rather than learning Japanese or anime. Learn more here from than Duolingo. Duolingo is pretty bad for learning, right? It's just more fun or for really basic stuff. We have a serious problem. Breaking news! I just get, like, Canada stuff. No. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Better just play some nice game in the original language. It probably helps if you play a game that you have already played. So you kind of know what they're talking about, maybe. I don't know. Or you have to just have a dictionary on the side. That... that Works. Did you know that Canada had a war with Denmark? What? Why? I did not know. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably our Greenland, I'm so Ah, okay, okay, okay. Was watching your Lost in Vivo playthrough and saw you were live. Hello, welcome! Oh, that's a pretty old one. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, though. It's a really good game. Right. 
Give me one second. Oh man. Hunts Island, there wasn't a war? Aha. I wish Yuri, Yuri I was real. I am real. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why is it ASMR? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that the uh, comes up? <laughs> uh, maybe it was right to search the ASMR version. This is Tib on ASMR. Welcome on, um, for a ride. <laughs> nice. Please have the Next translation. language is Dutch. I am Dutch, so of course, I gotta do Dutch. God verdomme. God verdomme. God verdomme! Good wife. <laughs> God verdomme. What does it mean? What does it mean, everybody? It was in the previous video. It was in the previous video. <laughs> oh, that's for dummy? <laughs> hold, for, hold the door. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold for Doma. Hold for Doma. Hold for Doma. <laughs> it means God damn it. Hold for Doma. Hold for hold for hold for hold for Doma. Cloud sock. Clothesock. 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 It means, uh... It means nutsack. But, you would use it like, asshole. <laughs> Clothesock. That's a, that's a good way to pronounce it, yeah. <laughs> Clouds suck. Yep. Cloud suck. Cloud suck. Sh suck. Cloud suck. Cloud suck. Not on cloud suck. Next language is Korean. Um, I have learned Korean for about almost five years now, so this should be fun. Shibar. <laughs> Shibar. Shibar. Did you say like Shibar? <laughs> Shibar. 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 Shibar Seki. Shibar Seki. I can't mean. Shibar Seki. Shibar Seki. I just keep. Shibar Seki. Mod view Shibar is so Shibar funny. <laughs> Japanese. Kso. 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 I love how everything else always Kisuyaro. only brings for you. Kisuyaro. Kisuyaro. Kesiaro. I say Kesiaro. 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 Okay, I hate this. Anyway, <laughs> it's because it's ASMR. It's uncomfortable. 
Oh, now I'm getting this shit in my recommendations. ASMR pickup lines in 19 languages. <laughs> Great. Do you do English? No, not... No? Oh, at the start. I think I just skipped it because it's English. You know. ASMR is a lot more comfortable when it's a hot woman doing it. I I can't. <laughs> okay. Here's the recommendation. Arc. <laughs> <sighs> Just to own God, have you heard ASMR eating in the air? No, thank you. I will get it. Take it. No! Don't... Don't do Hatsune Miku ASMR and then... It's... A person. <laughs> This is the only legit one. You're just typing ASMR? I mean, this... This keyboard doesn't sound, uh, The nicest, to be honest. But I try to filter it out. With the mic settings. You knew from the breathing that's a person? Yes! Miku doesn't do that. <coughs> Ugh, I'm getting so many. Miku Expo. God. Breathing is for the weak. Yeah, Hatsune Miku doesn't need to breathe. Why is he alone? I mean, it looks, it looks pretty hype from that angle. It's just the atmosphere, you know? <laughs> God, oh yeah. I'm done discussing uh, Miku Expo. <laughs> I'm just getting more to currently complete Miku Expo 2024 lore. Yeah. Uh, 
Every Miku meme reminds me I overspend on a Miku ticket. How much did you pay? <laughs> Stretch it out, Yuri. I stretch. I'm a little bit sore. I didn't know Miku did the puppy po. It's also, uh. The. Reminds me of the, what what the, the girl with the leak <laughs> that was bleach. Yes, that one. Damn, the probably gets like. Thirteen years ago. Oh, thank you for the lyrics. <laughs> so I was bored while chatting to a friend and decided to give lyrics. <laughs> To Miku's lemon polka. This is nothing original. It's just what I hear. I consider it quite accurate, actually. What do you call this? Tongue emoji. Maybe you listen the same as me, or maybe not, and hear something completely different. XD. It depends on each. Lol. It's my first time I use Window Movie Maker. Yay! For me! Ha 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 XD. I do not own Vocaloid. This is purely... <laughs> this is so... <laughs> this is like... Text of an era. <laughs> this is not even... This is just someone who made this up. <laughs> Just put Miku back in my racks, thank you. It's a 45-year-old man typing that. Yeah, but at the time, he wasn't 45. Uh, recommend. N A X thirty one na na yeah that's true na. Okay, I'm gonna play Harvest Hunt. We're all forty five. I asked yesterday, like, w I wonder how old my oldest viewer is, and someone said that it was like, someone just turned forty one, or was it? Someone just turned 40? Average viewer age of Yuria is 65. Can't I see that in my settings? YouTube Studio. Uh, uh, analytics? Audience. No. It says nothing about the gender. <laughs> oh, it does. Right, I guess. There you go, you're getting insider info. Analytics. Audience. Channel your audience, okay, sure. But why Hong Kong government? Crypto infinity? Huh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Average age 25 to 34. And then 34 or 35 to 44 is pretty high. I'm surprised this is 26%. But how does that how is this determined? Is this just just determined by someone's behavior? Like you're not giving them your gender, right? <laughs> From profile? It's it's part of making an account really? Email accounts. Or maybe. There is less people from 13 to 17. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Who are the 55-year-old? Who are the 65-year-olds watching this channel? <laughs> to be fair, there are probably not a lot of YouTube accounts from people these ages. I don't know. If the profile has been browsing too much true crime... <laughs> <laughs> oh god <clears throat> interesting this used to be i remember when i was first streaming um on youtube oh wait maybe Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the live is maybe what I needed to check out. <laughs> From videos, I think I, I, I get it. Popular with the ladies. 6% <laughs> This makes more sense <laughs> oh, I like live Yo, why is it, it's like all It's like you uh, America, Canada, Russia Pakistan, okay, Ukraine But live is like America, Germany It's such a big difference I guess I don't have that many live viewers From on YouTube So <clears throat> Someone would kill for those numbers. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just like if there's one person there, you're probably part of the 2%. This Twitch, uh, let me check. <clears throat> Dashboard. Uh, analytics. No research. Twitch has so much, has so many tabs. <clears throat> It's kind of like where you find this, you know? Viewer discovery, maybe? Uh, it does, but it only has countries, like location. It doesn't have gender. <clears throat> and the, the percentage is about the same. Like, top... Top viewers are like... United States, Canada, UK is pretty high. So like top three. But not anything, not anything else. Channels you share viewers with. Leaflet! <laughs> 
Yeah, YouTube offers way more. Any Antarctica viewers? Uh, can I see that anywhere? <clears throat> Poland is... One, two, three, four, five... Is sixth place. Okay, so I have... US, Canada, Brazil. Brazil is third place. Germany... UK, Poland, Japan. France, Russia, Philippines. Oh, that's about it. I, there, I don't see Antarctica there. I'm sorry. Netherlands, South Korea, Australia, Chile, and Spain. Damn. Okay. Lifetime. That <laughs> mean. <laughs> no penguin audience. No, no, no. <clears throat> Looked it up. Since there's no fiber optic cables in Antarctica, there likely isn't anyone watching YouTube in Antarctica due to people... Mostly just doing research there. There is this YouTube channel that sometimes pops up. It's like, uh... Yeah, what we eat in... I think it's Antarctica? Uh, oops. This lady... So it's popping up in my shorts. Is it this lady? Oh, I've seen these too. Actually, this food also looks pretty good. But yeah, it's just people working. I clicked on that by accident. This is another typical day of meals in Antarctica. As always, I start my day with a cup of green tea. It was brunch day Sunday, so in the savory section we had a collection of eggs, bacon, sausages, and hash browns. I Those think the one that I meant is Greenland, like what we eat in Greenland. With a sweet tooth, chose waffles. I had avocado and sun dried tomatoes on toast. Hell this yeah, was, our that was last good. Kiwi fruit before we received a resupply of fresh fruit and vegetables. And after offering it around to the rest of the team, I ended up halving it with a friend. Despite not looking great on the outside, it still tasted good. For lunch, we had a lamb Rogan Josh curry with turmeric rice and green beans. And we also had lunch dessert. Curry is a staple food in Antarctica. We love it. For afternoon smoker, huh? I raided the cookie cupboard and helped myself to some chop chip bahis. For dinner, we had a beer. Oh! Oh, Most you. people loaded theirs up with veggies because Master they Master thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. And we had ice cream for dessert. This is another I hope typical you're day of well. meals in Antarctica. As always. Meh. Yeah. It's the one that the, the lady from Greenland eats pretty interesting stuff. What, was that a new graphic? I actually need to turn it off. <clears throat> I um, I wanted to do some uh, Twitch alerts. So for when there is a hype train. <laughs> but it it um, it's just like it's <clears throat> it's it's just one browser source. You need to turn everything on and off individually. I forgot about the rate. <laughs> so it's double. <laughs> <clears throat> Double alerts. Ramen Joy. I remember this was a lot. This is lost. 
I saw Brutal Moose making something from this one. I never tasted avocado, as in... It doesn't have flavor to you, or you just never had it? What about guacamole or something? I like his channel 8. <clears throat> oh, you never had it? You should try sometime. Honestly, like, on its own, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. But it's a really good base to get some healthy... healthy fats in. Like, if you top it off with some bacon or something, it's good. Put your eyes on these homemade dishes and chocolatey desserts, all made with ramen noodles. Really? Ramen noodles? Yes, ramen. Yummy. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new Ramen Joy cookbook. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Brutal Foods. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this Mixes video, Mixes well with salt, today, also sour cream. We're going to mm -hmm. be making something pretty interesting. This entire basket cost under $10, and wait till you see what you can make with it. If you're how much would that cost now? $30? If you're like me, uh, you probably know Kathy Mitchell as the dump dinner lady. Uh, maybe the dump cake lady. She's given us some dumps, and that's kind of what she's known for. Now that I mentioned it, actually this pan... Probably still use, $10, uh, this is a maybe. This Kathy Mitchell pan, so I also know her uh, from her very square pans. And wait till you see what you can make with it. What I didn't know <laughs> was that at one point she also sold a ramen recipe book called Ramen Joy. I say that she used to sell this cookbook because if you try and find a copy now, it's next to impossible. It's gonna be hard to track down. Oh, a copy maybe of it is Kathy very Mitchell's rare. Ramen Joy, but you might find a copy of Ramen Noodle Recipes, which looks suspiciously similar to the Kathy Mitchell book. In fact, I'm pretty sure that this is the exact same collection of recipes, and I have some evidence to back that up. Form cooked ramen and egg into a fast pizza crust. Then add your favorite toppings for a mouth-watering pizza in minutes. It's right here on page 84. I've got the exact same picture right here, Kathy Mitchell. I'm on It's just like why would you do it with ramen noodles? Like I'm sure you have something else to make it with that might be easier. <laughs> on to you. It may not be on the same page that she says it's on, but that is the same picture, and they also use the same type of numbering design. So I'm pretty sure that this is the exact same cookbook. Watch this. Brown some beef or any other meat with a ramen seasoning pack. Dump in a package of ramen, a good sized squirt of ketchup, and a can of cola. Yes, cola. What? For a fantastic barbecue beef pasta better than what they serve at the rib joint at a fraction of the cost. What? Cola. This book was actually sent to me by <laughs> Allie and Nathan. Thank you guys so much. They also Co included Co some awesome artwork of me. So this is pretty much what I'm gonna look like. It could have a cool a new yet, we but it's just started making I've some never seen anyone topic. actually do We're that. We're also gonna be making a special ramen dessert. Uh, so be sure to stick around for that because it's interesting. And here's my favorite. Just dump some ramen on top of some leftover chicken and veggies. Okay, so these are actually called ramen spaghetti tacos. I've never heard of a spaghetti taco before. The recipe calls for two I mean, packages ramen of is very, very ramen. inoffensive. I'm going to be using one package uh, because I'm only cooking for me. And I'm going to be using the chicken flavor because that's uh, what I've got on hand. <laughs> I love the, the sound effects I've make got it my better. <laughs> favorite sauce here, Prego, though I've never tried the uh, flavored with meat flavor, and I figured since there's no actual meat going in these tacos that maybe if the sauce was flavored with meat, uh, that might help. I'm a little scared as to what flavored with meat means. Uh, <laughs> does it mean there's meat in here? Did it just they put meat in it and then take it out? How do you flavor something with meat? Taco shells, uh, I'm more of a soft taco kind of video, the jar. That actually worked out pretty well. What do you guys think about raw ramen? Do you just ever just I eat should get that book. Ramen? We I should do the cooking while, stream and we I make stuff from the book. Mmm, that crunch. Oh, love that crunch. <laughs> All right.
right, while that's going, let's uh, chorp some tomatoes. You guys have been getting on me for my dull knives. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna look sharpen Amazon. This baby up a little bit. Amazon. How much tomato do you think I need Ramen. for one taco? Maybe like. Recipe book. <laughs> that much? I know there's probably a different. A difference between oh, but like you just get like chopping when they say chopped. Oh, I, I found it! Like little, it's thirteen dollars. You know, cubes. <laughs> it's the exact same book. Ramen noodle recipes. There we go. That's uh, that's probably enough for one taco, right? Okay, another bit Honestly, of Honestly, it's not a bad price. A taco shell ready to uh, receive the it's noodles. It's thirteen Canadian, which is like even less. What's that? That's like that was pretty almost good. $10. I sure wish I was putting uh, <clears throat> real taco stuff in here. <laughs> I will order Ooh. it and then I will also... Really I'm gonna have to make some real tacos after this. Okay. Uh, to put this, these a box a of 24 packs of shells? noodles like hard taco shells is like, like 11 crispy? bucks. Wait. I will, I will add it to the shopping for, cart uh, together. Boil, man. <laughs> We're getting there. The back of this book is. You can pepper also. <laughs> stuffed with ramen. Have guys to eat whatever you Exactly, yeah. I don't know if it's a sale, but it's cheap. It's like Mr. Noodles. All right, so we're going to add the noodles to the hot, boiling hot water. And then I'm also going to need to get the, uh, the cheese ready for cheesing. This is the only kind of block mozzarella cheese I could find. I tried to find a nice mozzarella, but all I found was this Kroger brand. Is there a reason for that? Okay. Oh my god. I have to shop and cart. cheese just smells amazing. Ramen noodle recipes and... It's the number one bestseller in ramen noodles. Okay, we're supposed to drain the, the noodles, noodles, which Not I'm the gonna book. do using this <laughs> thing. Bulldog? Oh, I can't handle. Oh, like, it, but but Bulldog is actually pot. like kind of good noodles, right? So <laughs> I don't want to waste it like on that. like the sure recipe does look book. Like, uh, some ramen noodles, that's for sure. Don't forget the now coke. Now we have the pasta oh, sauce. So I guess since I'm using like a fourth of the appropriate amount of noodles, You're right. I guess I'm just gonna use a fourth of a cup instead of a full cup. A full cup would be way too much. Bulldog uh, noodles are so expensive. Here here? At least at least on Amazon they're expensive. Like a pack of five. Pack of five. Yeah. The cheapest one. I think that kind of smells like it was flavored with meat. Is like 16 bucks. Okay, pasta sauce is in there. I'm supposed to cook on medium. And then until you have it's five packs. Heated up. Uh, maybe you should Please stir give it. Me I don't know how long I'm gonna cook it. I'm not using that much. I'm not using that much sauce. Doesn't that look like a taco to you? I mean, oh. it's just like, yeah, noodle, like ramen noodle recipe. Like, this is just pasta, but you're using instant noodle packet. Like, you're using tomato sauce? Are you putting Put it, it on tortilla shells, I guess? Just a little bit, uh, but not very long. Okay, it's hot you enough. You just need the noodles build enough, up you I get say. for the sauces, true. Here comes the fun part. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly definitely. Do you want love this carbs? Right in the taco we oh, put no, carbs in your carbs. Uh, Italians are dropping dead. <laughs> Mexicans dropping dead. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not that much ramen. Okay. Well, doesn't that just look delicious? I don't even know what to say about this. It sure does look like you put ramen in a taco. Top each taco with mozzarella and cheddar cheeses. Well, the good news is that cheese does make everything better. So maybe I'll just load I mean, it up with cheese. It must a little be bit. like. I sure wish this taco shell would stay. Not up. bad uh, tasting, but why? I just don't see someone making this because they actually really like it. <laughs> Okay, went a little bit crazy with the cheese there, but uh, that's fine. Now, wait, microwave? Microwave <laughs> on high at 10 to 15 Wow, this is like is culinary fusion. 
do I desire that? I guess I desire that. I don't. I don't really know. Oh, right, you gotta melt the cheese, yeah. Okay, one one go around is fine. It's it's a little melted. I don't I don't think I want. It reminds that. me of Kay's cooking. Uh, Kay's cooking, but if it was in a recipe book. Now doesn't that just look good? I don't know about you Technically guys, edible, but makes like you sad. This this is like a this seems like a struggle meal. Uh, I don't know why you would do this instead of it's just like yeah, I had ramen like, noodles, I like but ramen. I got this. However, just looks. I like got so sick of only just okay, eating noodle well, soup, uh, so I got tacos. Yes, I have to eat this now. <laughs> why? Ramen. This tastes like <laughs> nothing. I can taste the tomatoes and the cheese, I guess. This is a this is a, something that kids would eat, I guess. Like it has no flavor. <laughs> no. 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 I didn't say this before I started, but I really wanted to eat all of this since I'm only making one. Oh, I put too much noodle in it. Too many noodle. That is a mistake. That is weird and a mistake. You microwave it. I mean, you want to melt the cheese a little bit, right? <laughs> Love that. Who's putting noodles in taco shells? Who is doing that? The textures, man. The too textures. much effort for such you a mediocre meal. Shell, <laughs> Did he put mushy, the seasoning in there? Noodly, it might have been better. Mushy noodles and pasta sauce. It it ruins tacos. It ruins ramen. It ruins tomatoes. It ruins cheese. Everything that could be wrong with this dish is wrong. I feel like there's no way to fix. You just cook really them. Okay. Come up with yeah. A creative way Fair. to say, hey, maybe if you did this, maybe if you did that, it would be better. You don't the even see the pasta sauce. It's is way too little. Mitchell goes back in time and never thinks about it in the first place. It hasn't been sitting here but for a few minutes. Does he make another looks. from it? Run tips here. Teriyaki sauce and tops. But now s'mores. Oh, to the dessert! You're gonna need some ramen, some chocolate. We're gonna use more of that uh, Scharfenberger chocolate from the last episode. And, well, I'm sure I'm. Uh, which don't come in a smaller <laughs> size than this bag, apparently. I'm gonna guess you guys can probably already tell where this is headed. First, you're gonna have to cut up your ramen. We I'm buying this book. We have a ramen square here. <laughs> I'm then buying it. Cut it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna dirty up a knife for that. I'm just gonna break it down the middle. There we go. Now We're we gotta, gotta do a cooking stream. Of the ramen. <laughs> and make you know, recipes from, from the last this. time. This is some pretty thick <laughs> chocolate, so I'm gonna have to cut it up a little bit. I don't know how much chocolate I'm gonna want on here exactly. I'm assuming not. Not too terribly much. <laughs> well, this can't be that bad. <laughs> I feel like I need a serrated knife instead of a non. But it's just why? Why would you do it? Noodles. Maybe this just knife will work. Get graham crackers. <laughs> eh. Just put some chocolate chunks. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know. The recipe just says chocolate bars, so I'm guessing they expected me to use like a Hershey bar or something. This is a fancy occasion. I wanted to break out my fancy chocolate for these. Uh, these just heat the knife, use a thousand degree says, knife. Uh, heat microwave <laughs> from the YouTube in 10 videos. Intervals until chocolate begins to melt. Nope. Nope. Okay, so that chocolate's melting a little bit. It sure smells like microwave ramen. Top each noodle rectangle with two halves of marshmallows. Okay. Wait, shouldn't you like spread it or something? I like marshmallows, actually. I actually, I like s'mores. The last dish kind of disappointed me, but maybe this will be good. Yum. Right, right. Turn to microwave 15 seconds. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> Order up. That's, it will uh, not be good. Eat, right? <laughs> uh, so that was, this is the entire recipe. This is what they want you to eat. See, it looks a little weird. This is, this is uh, the official the recipe. The marshmallow there, it just looks, I don't know, it all looks strange. Mm. This whole thing is strange. Let's give it a try. You need a book for this. Someone someone wrote this down and it's like, yeah, we can oh sell this. Oh my god, it smells so bad. All you can smell are those noodles. You don't even smell the chocolate, man. You just smell microwaved dry ramen noodles. It's still a little hot. I need to let it cool a little bit. The recipe does say that you can toast your marshmallows on a skewer, but I feel like if you're gonna go through that much trouble, you're gonna buy graham crackers for your s'more. If you're exactly. gonna go in for the marshmallow and chocolate, just get the graham cracker, dude. Okay, let's get it over with. Love that crunch. Is it so long? Love that crunch. This is one of the most bizarre things I've ever eaten. Have you ever thought Kinda to Kind of wonder if they even tried these recipes Man, or just put good, them sure in the book. I was crunching on some ramen noodles instead. Let me go. It I'm going to the product page. This this book has 386 ratings. 4.5 stars. Let me scroll down. Let me see if anyone posted photos. One star from Margarita. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> It's all fashion, not for me. What? Jain gifted to Aerodiron a subscription. Jain gifted to a tier one subscription. Jain Aerodiron. They have given Hakuroku Q gift subs in the channel. Jar, thank you so much for the gift sub to Arrow. Hell yeah. Enjoy your sub, man. Perfect. Noodle lover's gift. I got this for my daughter. She loves noodles. The book is good quality. The pages are full of color. Easy recipes. <laughs> okay. This has very unique recipes using ramen noodles. Five stars. I bought it as a joke. It's on my bookshelf collecting dust as I type this. Money well spent. It's a cool book to whip out during a party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably a good conversation piece. <laughs> I love these recipes so much. When on a very small budget, these recipes are a lifesaver for our family. Great idea. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no photos. I want I want to see photos. People making these dishes. Great alternative to just plain ramen. Good for teenager to learn to modify. I mean... Cook the noodles according to instructions and then add meat and vegetables that you like and it will make it better. Bought this as a gag. I was going to challenge myself to make all the recipes, no matter how weird they are. But then they were just too weird and I couldn't do it. Three stars. <laughs> what? Aww, thank you. Oh, shit, thank you. <laughs> we need to cook, Jesse. Jars, holy shit. Thank you for another gift sub to Xachi. Both of you guys, please enjoy your ad-free experience. I'm sorry about the ad just now. 
I would give this a 2.5 star rating, but Amazon won't let me. The book is decent, but what was the point of using ramen noodles if you can't use the seasoning packets? At least two thirds of the recipes request you discard the seasoning bag. Some of those recipes want beef or other broths, broths, but wouldn't everything be fine if you just used the seasoning bag? Bro. Someone posted a photo, but it's just photos of the book. Many reviews say, I watched the Bruda Moose video on YouTube and he made the tacos and the s'mores. They looked interesting to say the least. Fun gift for a college student who loves ramen. Never used it, but fun to have for conversation. I will get this book and I will not take it back home with me. I'm just gonna leave it with Geist. It's just like... Take this. You eat the seasoning straight as a starter. I will give it to... Uh, I should just give it to Dot instead. She needs to learn how to fucking cook. The only thing that I've ever seen her make is uh, honestly instant noodles. <laughs> it's like the, the only thing. <laughs> I think that it'd be counterproductive. It doesn't have to be good, but it does maybe learn you how to cook. As in, put in microwave until chocolate melts. Gave it to my granddaughter as a gag gift. <laughs> she promised to make the dishes for me. Five stars. My son now has lots of options for his love of ramen noodles. I see there are so many well-meaning parents and grandparents in these reviews. I bought this for my child because they love ramen. <laughs> Maybe they, they can spice it up, you know? Huh. You got all this <clears throat> ramen shit in your mouth. <laughs> I like two-thirds of this equation. I'd rather just have, like, chocolate and marshmallow melted in a bowl with a spoon. I don't know, the ramen doesn't... It doesn't add anything. Is it bad that it's growing on me a little bit? I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's good, but I'll, I'll at least finish this square. Mm. So this was better than the taco for a number of reasons. Uh, first, obviously, it's got chocolate and marshmallow. And the ramen doesn't really have a strong flavor. So mostly you're getting chocolate and marshmallow, which I'm a fan of both of those things. The texture also isn't as weird as the tacos. The hard crunch of the uh, ramen is actually pretty nice, except you just gotta keep chewing it and chewing it until all those little pieces are broken up enough for you to swallow. But at least it's not mm. just a mushy disaster like the taco was. The taco was just so... This just made me appreciate graham crackers. I never thought of it back in the day, making s'mores. Um, but man, graham crackers really are the unsung hero of the s'more. This is helping no one. This is just making something that's easy to make in your microwave anyway, worse. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, this was a pretty I'm easy sold. day. A couple food experiments. I don't even know. Maybe I should just look up a PDF of this instead. <laughs> but actually, I like it as a conversation piece. <laughs> 101 things to do with ramen noodles. Ramen cookbook for beginners. These are legit. We need this one. Appetizer, salads, noodle bowls. Like, they have the, on the cover, they have the, the, the ramen noodle s'mores, but it looks way better because I actually toasted the freaking marshmallows. You can probably make the tacos pretty okay if you maybe added more veg. It would probably be better with ground beef, at, and it's probably fine with both the noodles and beef. I don't, I don't fucking know. <sighs> Guess it'll, it would be inauthentic. 
Gonna make myself some Rama now. Maybe it helps with my sore throat. Yeah, you should stock up on some chicken, chicken noodles. It's like chicken soup's good. Know if if these are worth calling recipes, it's a food experiment. This is a used copy of the ramen uh, cookbook, and there are like page markers in here. People bookmark some of this stuff. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it seems to all be noodle recipes that look pretty normal. The beefy noodle skillet is apparently very good. Uh, they uh -huh. also bookmarked teriyaki meatloaf, which I don't know how I feel about that one. So I can't personally recommend any of these recipes. I don't know that I would say go out and buy the ramen noodle cookbook unless one of these looked good to you. Maybe, maybe you're out there, man. If one of these looks great to you, let me know. Go buy the cookbook. Tell me about all your great ramen noodle experiences. I would love to hear, though I do doubt your existence. Overall, though, these are like jello uh, salads disaster, from the 60s. Oh, yeah, that's also insane. Anyway, it and they put all this like savory shit in one, there. I hope you liked it regardless. Let me know what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, what could I do better. I would love to hear. You guys have been giving me some really great feedback and helping me improve the show. And from I really the appreciate 50s. It. So let me know what you think. Yeah, this shit. <laughs> Weird foods people ate during the 19... This looks like... If you were... If you just saw this, like, at a glance and say, you know, this is like a cake. Just a regular cake. It looks good. What the fuck is this? She dressed it up so nicely. <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> Oh, oh, it looks moving. beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. You got this. You got this. You got this. Bomb spaghetti. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> there was terror on everyone's face that side of the cameras. <laughs> Essentially like a chicken jello with an assortment of different vegetables and accoutrement. We found this recipe through a TikTok from Retro Recipes. According to them, this recipe was originally printed in a 1962 issue of American Home Magazine, where it was described as the perfect dish to impress guests at an evening dinner. The delicacy of this dish is balanced with the playful whimsy from the gelatin. Look at that jiggle. So we I mean, it, it looks cool. But it's just the fact that it's savory. They put everything in them to those jello molds, <laughs> molds back in the days. I mean, it does jiggle. Look at that jiggle. So we have our chicken, our gelatin, and our vegetables, and we're all set to make this vintage wiggly dinner. So we can answer the question, is this vintage recipe really as vile as it sounds? Or maybe it's good. We're going to find out. All right, let's get gelatinous. For the record, the people that did this recipe on TikTok look miserable eating it. After that very first bite, <laughs> you'll be absolutely speechless. Yeah, no, they um, they look pretty happy while they're making it, but then at the end when they're tasting it, they do not look happy. But we have all of their ingredients here, and I believe that we have all of the I same... I mean, jello on its own doesn't have any flavor, right? <laughs> so it's just, if you prepare all those things well, and then you just put it in jello, then the texture would probably be weird, but it might taste okay. Hickeys that they did. Like yes. the same mold. I mean, probably the same Morton salt. But you know, in the mold's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, Carly mm. had to track this down on eBay. eBay? It was Etsy. Etsy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This is a vintage. Oh, we got it. It's a replica. Is it? No, I think it's actually it's really vintage. vintage. It was the last one. <laughs> Me. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's vintage. And the main ingredient in chicken jello is chicken flavored gelatin. So we need to start off by making our chicken broth. We're gonna start by adding two chicken breasts to a pot. All right, it's boiling chicken time. Welcome to our chicken boil. Yeah, this is what I used to give Crusty was boiled chicken. Yeah, chicken a la ancient cat. Got it, ready? Yes, <laughs> I'm filming the chicken. The chicken is being filmed. Yep, there it is. It's in the pot now. This is the B-roll you're subscribing for. This is the content that everyone wants to see. Yep, I can see it. It's so gross. <laughs> Oh yeah, turn that one over. Yeah, that's too, too gross. Yeah, yeah. Really want to see that. Yeah. Then we're gonna mm -hmm. add in our vegetables. So that's a white onion. Love it. Love to see it. Two bay leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Two I teaspoons mean... of salt. One. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Two. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. And six peppercorns. Oh! Peppercorn six down. We're gonna add in eight cups of water. So What's that gonna do? And then we're gonna bring that to boil. 
perfect. Uh, the Jello is chicken yeah. broth flavor. And now flavor. our favorite segment in this video: waiting for water to boil. Maybe on camera. No, we're not doing it. No, we'll just we'll, we'll jump cut to that. Yeah, edit. Oh, it's boiling. It's steamy. We're back and it's boiling. Ready to get broth in the face? I'm ready to get broth. <laughs> Sick already. I mean, Ooh, they're just making yeah. chicken broth. That is a <laughs> onion and chicken jacuzzi. <laughs> I got a lot of broth steam in my throat. Bay leaf to the face. <laughs> Bay leaf to the face. All right, now we're gonna turn it down to low and then cook until the chicken's cooked all the way through. All right, I'm turning up the burner. I'm gonna take my chickens out. Oh my God, my camera got steamed up. <laughs> Woo. That looks good. Beautiful. Are you sure? Are you ready? What's happening? I'm gonna take out the chicken. So white. Okay, great. Yeah. Hey, Leaf, I love chicorita. And then we're gonna strain this broth into a large Pyrex. Look at those peppercorns. Look at my peppercorns, baby. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait for this to be gelatin. And to make our chicken broth into chicken jello, we're gonna combine it with gelatin and egg whites. So we're gonna pour the broth into a pot. Perfect. Great. Yep. Got it. Okay. And then dump in eight packets of unflavored gelatin. Okay, so I'm gonna do two at a time because I have to whisk as I put them in. We don't want any clumps in there. Nope. Ooh. I mean, this is not that bad. Why are you There's gagging? It's just there. chicken broth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna separately prepare three eggs from our egg white carton, which is about six tablespoons. Six tablespoons, according to Silver Carl. And then we're gonna froth it with a hand mixer. I'm glad we get to Damn. skip the egg white juggle. From a... This thing. You're good at that, though. I, but I'm glad we're skipping it right now. Okay. From a we're going in with carton egg whites, baby. Frothed eggs. <laughs> Frothed eggs. And once that's done, we're going to pour those into our mixture. Then we're going to put our mixture on high heat until the egg whites then are cooked through. they start to like float to the top. That's our towel. <laughs> it's got like an egg white cloud on the top. Then we're going to strain the broth again into a large Yeah, the idea that the jello might taste cloth. like I chicken broth is wack. Oh, it looks interesting over there. Got a little what are they going the to do with the chicken yeah. breast after? Yeah. They, says, uh, yeah. they, they have a cat. Right, They're probably going to give it to a cat. Happened to me every time. Okay, so. good. <laughs> it happened to Carly. All right, we have our chicken stock and it's got gelatin in it and egg whites. So we're now ready to pour it into our mold. Yes. And to start building up our, I don't know, what are we going to call it? Chicken Tower of Terror. Tower of or maybe terror. it goes terror, into terror, the. Terror. Yeah. We can start building our Chicken Tower of Terror with this chicken stock. I like that. Tower of the Terror. The jello? Yeah. That was pretty good to me. Yeah. That's why she's here. That's why she's here. I was wondering. Excuse me. One wondering. good line of video and a lot of mediocre shots from the G7X. Okay, so we're gonna start off by pouring our top layer because basically what you're doing is you're gonna like create it in reverse order, right? Yeah, from molds... top to bottom. Exactly. Yeah, because so... the mold's upside down. There you go. Your peak is gonna be like gelatin only. So I went kind of fast there because everything started happening. <laughs> I have a flaming Pyrex in my hand. Then you start layering on your decor. Yes. Because this is all about presentation. Yeah. It's all about wow. It's impressing your guests at an elegant uh, dinner. Exactly. Just true. go out there. I like mean, this, I like, would be holy. impressed and in between if layers, I saw that. Sticking but our mold into the freezer wanting to, to eat it <laughs> in their video, they had it in like an ice bath throughout, but that makes the mold float. Okay. So Carly's method is just to put it in the freezer in between, Got it. which I feel like works. Yes. It works. Whatever Silver Carl says we're doing. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> and while it's in there, we're gonna prep our chicken and our other jello huh, yeah, fixings. Okay. Our accoutrement. Here's the peas. Let's defrost the peas. Here's the olives. And here's the pimento peppers. Here's a knife. It's sheathed, don't worry. We're gonna start with slicing up our chicken. Now in the TikTok slash YouTube video, they did it like pretty artfully, which I don't think I'm going to do. I'm gonna just try my best here. That looks pretty good. Looks cooked at least. It is cooked yeah, to I mean, infinity and beyond, frankly. These look good, Ty. Artistically done. That's chicken, there's some, all there's right. Some, um, there's an artisanal quality to that. You got a future on TikTok, kid. So I feel like this is all coming together. Yes. Perfect timing. Yeah. We have all of our ingredients prepped and our first round of gelatin is ready. It's set. It's all coming together. Ready, set, jello. Mm. And for our second layer, we're gonna go for a pattern of olives and pimento peppers. Now, they use chopsticks to have precision. Now, I am not very attuned with chopsticks. Like, I can do general things. I'm more of a dumpling guy than a precision guy. So, you can use this if you'd like, but I have here. Oh, am I doing it too? What Silver Carl's given me, which are essentially these prongs with hands on them. I like that. This is the official tool for this for me. Tiny hands? Tiny hands. <laughs> oh god, this is actually really slippery. Okay, here we go. Are you sure this is easier? No, you got it. You're nailing Yeah, exactly, exactly! So let's, let's try something. They sort of did like a, a grid pattern, almost like a kaleidoscope of peppers and olives. I was gonna say almost like a tic-tac-toe board. Oh, you can just do tic-tac-toe. all <laughs> zeros. Uh. Dude, this, is, this is coming together. God, Yummy! This is hard. Then the minute you pour in the gelatin, it's just gonna float away. Yeah. That's what's so... <laughs> This so might be the biggest waste of time of all time. 
Here, you want tiny hands or you want to go? You're going tiny hands? Uh, I want to see how hard it is. Okay, fine. All right, here we go. Tic tac toe. One right in the middle, right? Okay, what do we think about that? It's pretty damn good. Beautiful. Now what we need to do is pour in our next round of chicken gelatin. I like yes. that. I and ruin the design. Probably. I oh, would enjoy looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> the olives are floating. Well, the design is mostly gone. Yes. <laughs> but it's sort of a beautiful slow dance of the olives, if you if you will. <laughs> kind of like a dance of the sugar plum fairy. Yes, right. Dance of the Morlatons. There's something beautiful and tragic about the olives right now. Oh, here we go. Into the freezer, 30 minutes. Okay, so now that our second layer is set, look at that olive in suspension. Would it's still rather eat this than any of it the ramen kind of, recipes, I mean, it is really? Amber vibes, so Jurassic Park, but Jello, not too far off. We're gonna go in for a third layer, and this time, it's just chicken. All right, let me go back in with the chopstick this time, actually. It's chicken, people. Let me tell you about something. It's called a uh, chicken. All right, I'm ready now to, to drizzle. So rich. I love it, it's like so... Unseasoned. <laughs> That's chicken, people. Perfect. Gently, I, I gently. guess since it was in a broth, it probably has some. Okay, flavor. so we're on to our next Hopefully. layer, which I mean, is it's, just it's made. Bees. It's in, in its own <laughs> broth. The sanctity of the Jello is there. It's jiggling. I feel like this is something that could have been eaten in like a Jetsons episode. Right, a, a past vision of the future. Right, Elroy, Rosie, We're all Rosie has living one. in space, so we it need all of our It had six whole peppercorns. Exactly. Right. And two yeah. bay leaves. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> right, do not want to disrupt <laughs> this cool piece. Okay, we're going. Looking good. Show me the peas! Show me the peas! So with our peas looking real entombed. Oh, they look cute! Gelatinous and wonderful. I mean, that looks very satisfying. Olives and peppers. All right, so for this design, I'm thinking we do concentric circles. Crop circles, but it's peppers and olives. Exactly. All right, tiny hands. Tiny hands with the peppers? All right, you're giving me really... Here, you can go with the chopsticks. No, it's okay. I want to complain about it, but still do it. Oh, yeah, I got it. A circle of peppers! You've That's been outflanked bad. now by the olives. Do you feel in Why does it look printed, yeah, right? I, oh, uh, what are you doing? No, I had a plan for those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here, did you see the chopsticks? No, no. I won't abandon the hands. It's okay, hands. It's you and me, baby. Here's my thought. Ray, rays of sunlight. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> this looks like an arm. Mm. Picasso. This is like a I will say something. Like accurate your angel. Here paid off. This looks pretty good. And now you will ruin it. I will. Yeah. Is all Take your dread. Integrity. No. Yeah, that's, that, that happened fast. Yeah. Well, that was definitely worth the time. All right, picking this guy up. Goodbye. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our freezer to get our chicken tower. Let's see how it looks. Oh, beautiful. And then our final layer is gonna be like a strip of chicken surrounded by peas on both sides. So let's like use the rest of our chicken here. It's a fair amount of chicken. We don't have to use all the chicken. Or you guys use as much as we can. The rest we'll eat plain with no sauce, no seasoning, just straight down the gullet. All right, now we're gonna go in with peas on both sides. Beautiful. It's gonna look so pretty. I'm talking about peas, baby. More so fish peas. should look like, baby. And now accurate angels, I agree. That looks pretty good. Kind of beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these guys are more buoyant than others. Okay, so that is the final layer of our Tower of Terror, chicken edition. So what we're gonna do now is put it in the fridge, not the freezer, for like three to four hours to really let it settle, and then we're gonna take it out, jiggle it, wiggle it, and taste it. So, <laughs> let's put it in the fridge. <laughs> Give having... me a smile, pose with it. Beautiful. Let me try to get it there without too much movement. All right. Hope. Oh. Farewell, friend. Okay, the time is nigh. It's actually settled. Really right now. I just want to... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's moving, it looks it's beautiful. Okay, before it slides off, back into the fridge, back oh, into the fridge. Back in the fridge. Back to what you came. Is there room in the fridge? Oh, uh, yeah! We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Oh, yes, I'm making it right now. <laughs> stop, it's gonna fall. Oh, 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 go, 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 Why, go. why oh, does stop, it need stop, to go is back? Going to stop, 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 stop. Yes. It, it's definitely sliding, so be very careful. I'm literally filming it. It looks amazing. There's chicken stock all over our ground. You got this, you got this, you got this. Uh, it doesn't look that pretty oh. as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's melting. Oh. That was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> when it started moving, no, 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 no. That was very blob-ish. That thing looked like it was gonna fuck. That was like the monster in Stranger Things 3. <laughs> Although I will say that I feel like it's a little, you know, we sort of missed the climactic it worked moment because oh. we were having the climactic, maybe it won't work moment. It worked. <laughs> All right, 
Let's take this bad boy out. It could still be slippery in there. My so parents let's be loved it. Bring they it liked to me. these. They would Sing make that. Me, Paolo. Oh wow. This is this is beautiful, honestly. This is like my favorite thing we've ever made. I mean, it looks oh. it looks bad, but also kind That's of cool fine. at the same time. You're ah, exactly probably not long enough in the fridge. Out. W Y T. I love the olives that are trapped weirdly in the top layer. Vertical. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they're like there is no order. Just, I'm just zooming in as far as I can go. Oh my god. Ready? Oh my god. Ready? I'm literally zooming into another dimension. Okay, let's eat this thing. All right, people, I'm cutting it. Okay. <sighs> uh oh, the chicken. Oh no. Oh. You have to saw. Oh. What was that sound? <laughs> okay. That's a full slice. The sounds, the different sounds. I'm upset. Oh, shit. this chicken's <laughs> really in my way. I'm upset. Oh, 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 oh. breach, breach, breach. Oh, f are we? F yeah, no, the, no, the cut might look no, better. No, the opposite. This is just the beginning. All right, how do we serve it? Okay, Rosanna ready? Panzino frosting spreader. Bring it out, <laughs> Rosanna. <laughs> no, Rosanna, no. It's collapsing in on itself. <laughs> you're just <laughs> grabbing it. You're just grabbing it with your hands. Nice. <laughs> the chicken? So the chicken's bad. stuck inside, isn't it? The chicken is is stuck inside. Here. Should you reach in and take the chicken out? I right, want to get some chicken. Oh, oh. You want that piece of chicken over there? I was gonna say that, the one that's there. Okay. Ignore this me. is a, uh, a, a, a structural might, piece of chicken. It might be a structural <laughs> piece of chicken. This is a load-bearing chicken, so I think that we were to take You're that one out. You're not gonna get that. Just test the deck. Yeah. Should we taste it? Should we just yes. cut it like yeah, halfway? Are you gonna feed me? Incoming, sweet. <laughs> that's the bite that's coming my way, in case anyone's wondering. All right. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> I'll eat it if you don't want it. <clears throat> no, I can do it. Go. <laughs> we can, Come we on. Get it together. <laughs> it, it, it can't be that bad. Okay, I got a little pepper, and I got some chicken on this bad boy. Okay, my two cents is that the flavor is not so bad. Yeah, There's exactly. A tear in your eye. <laughs> Full on crying. <laughs> the flavor is not so bad. It does, it tastes just like chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. The cold texture of the jello is where I have a hard time swallowing. Oh, oh my God, please. It's, 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 it's wonderful. Anything exactly, it's just a oh, jello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not the noise, too. Yeah. I I like it because I feel like that the uh, the gelatin is actually like a cold, wet noodle. Well, it's almost like if it like in the chicken noodle soup, soup, it is a stand-in for both the broth and the noodle. So I'm getting it all at once. And also, I think you know when you make like soup and like when you have leftovers, you put it into the fridge, and it become it becomes a similar texture because it just kind of hardens up a little bit and once you melt it or like heat it up again put it in a microwave then it becomes soupy again but it would be like eating the cold soup like that's been out of the fridge yeah it's because of the fat yeah yeah, yeah but not even always that like a bouillon yeah <laughs> i assume it's pretty similar that the pepper is a winner. Here, try it with the pepper. The pepper really tastes Have good. Have you eaten a bite yet? I already had okay. a bite. Yeah, I liked it. I was, <laughs> it I was just keeps feeding it. <laughs> yeah, it's not so bad. The peas are good. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately for everyone involved, the peas are good. Yeah. I mean, I the never make chicken soup. Chicken. I, when I got I, the if initial I make bite soup, with the vegetable. chicken and the olive and the jello, I could barely get it down. <laughs> the chicken was too much for me. I could eat this. And then, like, kind of... It's because, like, I'm, it's just, like, thick soups. They kind of... But they don't necessarily harden. But you know, it just becomes like a thicker texture. I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna eat this. I wanna get one more piece. Oh my god. This smashing, crowd pleasing delight is positively worth the two days of love and labor. So, is this vintage recipe vile? Or what's a different word that starts with a V that means the opposite of vile? Va vile or very good? <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's this like thing a, is actually yeah, exactly. it's probably both. Yeah. Because it's really fun. It just I think thickens. the worst part was how long it took to make. The flavor I don't think is actually vile. But I actually would like to almost like whip it out and take it to like a dinner party, a potluck, if you will, a Friendsgiving, as sort of like a shocker. Like, it oh yeah, here, check this out. A conversation piece. Borderline prank. This dish will surely be a delight for your guests. 
and will be talked about for ages. Maybe you guys can comment down below what other things we should put into gelatin. A stapler, perhaps? I mean, but it's not as bad as that one southern mom that would make, like, the... She's like, oh, I'm making a salad, and it's mayo, peas, and the pineapple... with a piece of pineapple on top. <laughs> And that's what she would bring, like, to the office, like, yeah, everyone's bringing some food. It's like, it's this. <laughs> what is it, like? Josh and... <laughs> oh, it's, it's just... You can already see, it's just slices of pineapple, put some mayo in the middle, and then cheese! <laughs> uh, do, as you actually brought out a potluck? I never know if it's like a... And why are you making these again? Tony needs them for work. What does he need for work? They're doing a potluck at work, and I told him I'll make this. Like, we make it for our family things, but I never know if it's, like, a main dish or, like, is it a dessert? No, it's a it... dessert. You eat it after the main dish. It's a dessert? Like, desserts don't have mayonnaise and cheese on them. Well, you get the sweet with the salty is what it is. Sweet and salty. Yeah. And this is what he said he's fine taking this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He thinks they'll like it. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> even the fast, dog is easy. worried. The, even the dog You're doesn't want this seconds. shit. And it'll last. <laughs> easy, fast, and it'll last. That's right. Look. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> you know we have this all the time. I, I know, swear I this know. channel what? is not rage bait. Like, she unironically makes this. There are videos where she is, like, preparing food for the whole family who's coming over. Oh, yeah, the Easter. Oh, Lord. They got you cooked. <laughs> yes, they do. This is this is What's real. On the list today? <laughs> she was well, raised this like way. Boiling eggs. Right. They cut up the cheese. Let's see. <laughs> Just two things. <laughs> no, no. This is real American cooking. <laughs> yeah. Sauerkraut weenies. Oh, that's just gonna stink it. We should have saved that for last. Josh, gonna stink up the whole it kitchen. It's not gonna stink it up. I don't even know what you're talking about. Ugh. This is, um, we used to eat this. I all mean, time. usually in the videos, like, he films his mom just eating it. It's like, yeah, that's good. Sauerkraut and weenies. Yeah, Papa Billy's gonna love this. <laughs> this for? When's it gonna be ready? I'm hungry. Josh, in a little bit, I still got some more stuff to do. <laughs> it's not this. Why is she just like where she shows it? Is it a short? Oh yeah, the Easter lunch. Hey everybody, happy Easter, okay? So, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Um, so Easter lunch today. This is what we having, okay? Yeah. Um, we've got turkey and ham sandwiches over here. Uh -huh. We've got pickle wraps. Okay. Over here, I made some chicken salad with crackers. Right here, we've got sauerkraut and weenies. Okay, mm. um, that's an old favorite. We got peas and uh, corn, and we got macaroni and cheese. Ooh. And I did something different with the deviled eggs. Now this those, year. those look so I pretty. I mean, it looks cute. I get the coloring. It, it's a cute idea. It came out real colorful, didn't it? Right. They? Yeah. I just bought dessert this time, Josh. I wasn't fooling with that. Okay, but we got the rice krispie <laughs> treats and. Some cookies. Yeah. I, th I think I would only eat like the corn and peas, maybe, and then the, the dessert. Mm. <laughs> so, but yeah, so. Right. I mean, sandwich is not that bad. It's just cheese and ham. <laughs> We're just waiting for everybody to get here. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Happy Easter, everybody. Hey, everybody. Happy Easter. Yeah. I know. She's so funny. It's because it's the sincerity that makes me love it. She seems like such a sweet lady. 
<laughs> her cooking is god awful, but she seems so nice. Exactly. <laughs> And you can kind of tell, like, how she presents it, that she, like, put her heart into it, and that she's excited for other people <laughs> to eat her food. Like, it's nice if other people also enjoy your cooking, right? So, I get it, but it's like, shit. <laughs> I would 100% eat all that and pass out on her couch. Hell yeah, she would be happy. <laughs> Uh. Happy Easter, okay. <laughs> eh, it's the one recommendation recommendation video that got me down into this rabbit hole. <laughs> okay, let's play uh, Harvest Hunt. <laughs> nope, more YouTube. No signal. <laughs> I can't unsee the sauerkraut and wieners. <laughs> yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. No, 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 no. Keep yapping, Yuri. <laughs> I have done enough yapping. I can, I can yap during my gaming time. I'm like closing tabs. And like, one of them is still. I had this open still. We are having a serious problem with the polit politic on the weekly league with the language and it hope that that the commander dagen can warden up the lowest. <laughs> we are having an lowest. <laughs> Green. Ver. Close. Green. Ver. A hunter must hunt. Eh. <clears throat> Harvest. Hunt. Why now? <coughs> Ugh. By now. Has it stopped snowing yet? I look outside and all I see is white. <laughs> I can't even see. Is it the throwing broken again? Seems broken again. Let me restart it. Got to reboot my tits. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! I'm rebooting tits! What about now? There we go. It works. Ow. <laughs> I will redeem for you guys. Ah! Uh... Yes. <laughs> yes. There he is! Bro. Enough! <laughs> All these fucking sounds. I should make it when the- when the- it's the- ooh, it's loud. When it's uh, the bike, it should be the- the metal sound. It's probably fine. It's probably okay. So I don't know too much about this. It's like a roguelike horror game? We shall see. We moved to Luna Nova to escape the plague. Only to be cursed. 
and hunted by the vicious devourer. I wish I understood whether we brought this upon ourselves or if this fate was always waiting for us. Each moon, a new warden is chosen to protect Luna Nova. The whispers grow stronger and stronger. I shall be the one to don the mask tonight. Through what strength and wits I have, and with the whispers' guidance, I will avoid the clutches of the devourer and feast on Embryosa! This is a first-person account from Luna Nova. There are many terms I don't understand, though. A curse, a devourer, a mask, Embryosa, and whispers. I hear whispers, too. I don't know how much longer I can resist their call. I have to keep digging. If they found a way to overcome this curse, maybe I can as well. Each moon, a new warden is chosen. Oh. Antonia was chosen! Okay. I'm gonna have a sip. Welcome to your village, Luna Nova. Luna Nova is the heart of your journey. You will be returning here after every encounter with the monster, the devourer. Harvest seasons. One villager is chosen to be the warden each harvest season, protecting and providing for the others. You must survive five key nights in order to complete each harvest season. Each night grants different rewards, such as new abilities, tools, or lore entries. Some of these rewards will always be received, while others have requirements before being rewar awarded. Wingardium Embryosa To survive, you must collect enough Embryosa, a key resource for Luna Nova. Okay, begin. Ugh. <clears throat> Uh, oh, there's no options. Okay, collect 25 Embryosa. Collecting Embryosa keeps Luna Nova alive. You need a specific, specific amount of Embryosa per harvest season in order to succeed. Embryosa is scattered around the farmlands. Collect it before the devourer can contaminate it. Okay, once it's green, you can't get it anymore. Oh, can I remove the lantern then? Oh, I can. I don't like that. Let me know if I need to adjust the volume. You have collected enough. Visit the entry points at the edges of the farmlands to escape with your resources. These points are marked by white smoke during your first night. Okay. Can I get more? Oh, my vision gets weird when I have the lights off. Hey, yo, easy. Easy game. Oh, I could have collected way more. Used to slowly restore vigor over the course of three minutes. Ambro... Ambrosia. Did I just read it wrong? Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Ambrosia, it is.
Okay. Ambrosia. Ambrosia. <laughs> Random whispers will affect each night differently. Remember to look through them carefully. Ambrosia. Okay, okay. Positively affects Luna Nova or your warden. Negatively affects Luna Nova or your warden. Devour Devourer's current mutation. Unlike the other whispers, this does not change every night, but it is tied to harvest season. The Devourer's attacks do half damage. Failure to banish the Devourer this night will lead to loss of AT Ambrosia. The Devourer trails a toxic gas which damages you on touch. Oh, so this is just... Okay, okay. This is just what's happening. Tools are crucial items that help you survive the night. They are not just offensive items. Some can, some can provide information or protect you against dangers. Use different tools according to your playstyle. Once you acquire tools, they will appear at specific landmarks around the farmlands. You need to go to these locations yourself and pick up your tools. Select a landmark to see which tools... Okay. Throw... Monster vein. Place to create a vein... That points towards the devourer. Ring it, the bell will lure the devourer towards it. I have a hundred? Fills up the devourer's blood with sort of field plastic as damage. I like that one. I guess all of them. Tools can be scattered around the farmlands. Okay, a weak page work is always available in the farmlands, even if you did not acquire other tools. It's like bones. Tap. I see. It's out. They can only with once it's filled. Oh, I can only pick up one. Ah, how does it fill up? Common. Oh shit, I dropped it. Oh! Uh. Can I do something? Oh. Restore your figure by interacting with rations. Fountain bowls. Okay. Let's do some harvesting, I guess. I can just stab.
Taking these. Collecting as much as possible. Figure it's full. It does take a, a long time, huh? Does my lamp have like... Oh, it's the exit. Oh, that's why I got like a... Double healing. What's over here? Is it around here? Oh, it's over there! Gonna poke it? Who's gonna poke it? Okay, time to run. Poked it! Bitch, I can't see! That was on me. <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Your lantern has been up for too long and your vision is affected. Okay, okay. Restore. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd fall in. Okay, let me get some new goods. Can I go here? Take tool. Picked up a tool. Press left click to use it. This wards him off or something? Oops. Okay, he doesn't seem that dangerous... ...so far. Ooh! Come here, buddy! How about I throw your... Throw this hatchet in your face! Poison gas here. It means that he has been here. I think? No. Can I kill it? You have directed your lantern towards the devourer and alerted its presence. You can hide by using control in the cornfields. Oh! It's over here. Let's, uh, throw shit at you.
been here yet? So noisy. Okay, he's over there. Oh, I see him. I see him. He walks too quick. Too fast for me to be sneaky. Infected a bunch of cores, so I can pick that up now. Core healing. Oh, he's over there. Oopsie, he saw me first. Run. Can I throw? Oh, I can. Damaging the devourer causes it to drop a fragment of its body. Find this fragment easily using your ward in sight. Oh. Let me uh, walk around in a circle. It's over there. Here. I got it. Manually pick up the torn fragment with you and, uh, and bring it with you, or you can summon it directly at the effigy by sacrificing some of your vigor. Find his effigy easily by using your ward inside. Okay, what do I do with it? Assemble. Okay. Is it, uh, those things? Contaminated. Oh. Oh, it's just that's just the exit. Oh, it's the is it the green tree? Uh, I remember walking here. Oh, it's on me. Oopsie. Ow, 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 Leave! Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool story. Here you go, buddy. Interact with the average agent. Banish the devourer. Banishing the devourer per... Provides a lot of ambrosia. Ooh, okay. Be gone. Pick <laughs> is up. Dead. 
vanished. Nice. Move a lot faster while crouching. Warden strength and village fortifications are chosen randomly from all the unlocked cards in your deck. You can decide not to acquire any cards. Choose wisely since you can only hold a limited number of strength and fortifications at a time. Increase range of throwables. Stalker. Draw a new set of strength and fortifications each night. After every successful banishment, gain 20 more. Each strength or fortification sacrifice. Provides 20. Uh. Let's do some randomness. A strange hooded creature hunts the congregation. It foils their collection of ambrosia. But I don't know how. Does it eat it? Trample it? Poison it? Banish it three times to learn more. Okay. You can see your good cards on this screen. The current hand is customizable, giving you control over how you play. These cards represent the warden's abilities. Okay, oh yeah. Yes. You can only equip new cards in your hand at the end of each night. Have damage, water, Fiends lurk in the water, altering... Alerting the devourer, oh. That's not great. Devourer trails a toxic gas, okay. I mean, is there... A reason to not take, take these? Place their vein that... Okay, but if you... Hurt it. It's probably fine. Let the hunt begin. Plan your way. Banish the devourer or escape through the entry points. Unlock and choose tools, strengths, and fortifications that work best. Okay. The devourer uses fiends to track your location. Some fiends can hear you while others can see you. Take care as, friend, uh, as friends as fiends can alert the devourer. The friends can alert you. The fuck did I step on? So just noise. Oh. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. I'm almost dead. Damn. I guess. Oh. Uh, okay. He hears those noises. Which makes sense, fair enough. Okay, let's collect all this stuff.
Stop fucking up my vision! Oh, are those the creatures that see me? The fiends? The friends? My ass just crawling in. Oh. Yep. Bro, shut up. Cornfields can hide you from the devourer, although. Um. Let's try to banish it, though. You don't see me. No! You don't see me. Wow, plus three. Oh man, he got his water bodies all over. I think these are like points that he can like teleport to. Ow. Listened, thank you. Let me see if there's any healing item nearby. Contaminated. Yo, his friends are such a pain. I'm dead. Are you getting me? You throw damage to the devourer, but cause it to chase you for 15 seconds. I see. Oh, uh, you have two more days though? Like. Strength is a pitchfork. Oh, sick. Mighty Pitchfork. So far, hearing doesn't seem entirely useful because he either is nearby or not. Do not die, Yuri. Thank you. Thirty-five, damn. Yeah, so we're still alive. It's not entirely lost. I guess you just lose, like, the resources that you find. So, out, so you don't have as much time. So, where... Are there any tools here? There's no freaking tools. Oh man, so noisy! 
The wood. Go the other way. Say, so, mm, might as well. You can't jump, so I can walk around it, I guess. Minion, mean, mean. Thank you for following. Here's a pitchfork, that's great. Man, there's always something! Always something I'm stepping on. Crunchy Pigeon, hi, welcome! Is it over there? Taking this? What? Oh, it's over here. Shit, it's on me. No. No, 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 no. Oh. It's very hard to recover, I'd say. Okay, where did I once you turn off your light? And the vision goes red. I don't know how much that affects anything. Where did my pitch for go? Oh, I can get the hatchet now, I guess. Is there any healing here? How's the game? I mm, won't quite judge yet. Because I just started playing, but the concept is interesting. I would love some health. I guess just do a walk here, because... It'll make noise. Oh, there's some here too. Everything is dangerous now that you're out of the tutorial. Yeah, the 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 art style is really cool. I wish it was more that it, w it wasn't just like the light or like the light that it was safe in general. You have to, but your vision fucks up regardless. If it's not the lantern, at least. 
What's this? Contaminated. Get your get your vision together. Buh, 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 buh. Oh, of course he's like behind me. I'm dead. <laughs> Why? It's like okay, you want to hide? Okay, we're gonna make sure that he comes from the exact place that you're trying to hide in. One more day. Okay, I have to really go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. BRB.
Thank you for waiting. <laughs> I took pretty long as I was petting the cat. And I gave him a treat. Some shrimp. He got some shrimp. He was just sleeping or chilling on the couch. Are you happy? I hope so. It stopped snowing so I can walk him after the stream. No tools acquired. I don't have health. Shepherd's Draw, thank you for following. I don't... Try this, I guess. You really need a... But he was on the couch upstairs. He wasn't in my room. So that wouldn't have worked. Okay. So what does the whispering indicate? Is it 
nearby. Heal up. Gather. Okay, these things don't stick around. Let me get the pitchfork, at least. Oh. Makes so much noise. Okay, let's just try to gather some stuff and, uh... Leave. As of right now, I mean... I get it, why you want to banish it. It's just so you can get a bunch of the ambrosia. Maybe that's more of a thing that you feel mandatory later on. Is this my final night? I think so. I have to gather a bunch, so maybe I do have to do that. I need about 50 more. Corrin is such a cutie, it's possible for me somehow to change my... Oh shit, thing. Corrin is a new one. It's okay. I would accept it if you were to change... ...your old shit to my freaking cat. I don't think there is facial tracking for cats, though. Dude, it gets so little now. Plus 12. Just gonna keep crouching. What the fuck was that? Did it fart? It's nearby. You don't see me. I am hiding. Oh, I'm clipping through. No, don't infect. Okay, well, we're fine. I have enough now. Let me heal and then I can just leave. Yay, we made it! Goodbye! <laughs> Using rations increases your maximum vigor by 5, up to f maximum of 150. I chore fragments from the devourer, purified them with whatever means seemed to work. Time and time again, my hope fueled me. Hope that one day I would regain my freedom, that I might see you once more. Perhaps that is why I feel a hint of you in a devourer's dog dogged pursuit. Will Isabella remember me? Will you resent me, Matthew? Had I listened to... Had I listened, coming to Luna Nova would have been a passing fancy. Her worries seem founded now, but at the time I did not believe. No. I refuse to believe her words. She was always... She always was the better mother to you. Loved you more, even though I was the one who birthed you. Okay. Antonia's child, Matthew, is there a chance that I'm his descendant? Is that how the curse has passed on? Why I hear these whispers? Uh, 
everything is reset. Oh. The virus fiends damage you on detection. Man, fuck that. Martim. Man, it must suck to be a villager here. Con the congregation placed each kind of tool near specific landmarks. Okay. A soldier. Oh, that's nice. Make no noise when running, walking or running, including on noisemakers. Only one fragment is required to banish the devourer. Water is poisoned. Just always picking the hatchet. Fuck that. Pick one. We'll do one. So... You know, I think we are just... Like... Living, like, going through past, and in the meantime, like, we are the descendant of, or something that's going through all these notes or information. Oh, it's already there. We are so quiet, that's nice. Fuck is this? Oh, those are the fiends. That spots you. Okay, weapon is over there. Why is time going so fast? I wanted to watch more Panda before going to bed. You should stay up. Uh oh. Stay up and watch. <laughs> oh shit, it's over there. I'm telling you. Shit. It was water. Graphics kind of remind me of Wind Waker. <laughs> okay, the monster was around here. Oh, it's over there. Let's see if we can throw this hatchet in its in its face. Oh, it's, it's looking this way. I'm not fucking with those bells. Oh. Okay, it didn't die. It, it needed some more. You don't see me. I'm not here. Ow. Ah! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, the water. No! Zero! Oh no! Oh fuck. Choose one fortification. Eat strength. Hey. Do more house then. Oh, 
A mask can be found in each secondary landmark. Wear them to gain random warden strength. Oh, this sucks. Okay, let's do this again. I'm not dying IRL, so I'm fine. It's just a game. Oh, great. It's like right there. Great. Yeah, okay. It goes through the holes. <laughs> uh. Oh! I found it already. What does it do, though? Thank you! Why are you raiding the sneeze? <laughs> oh. There's another one. Equip Stalker. Oh, it's those fuckers that see me. Why are you running? Come here, buddy. I have something for you. What the fuck? Why did you drop it? No! your health back so quickly. Okay, there was health around here. Restoring... Alright. 90, 90 left in the farmlands neat. 240. Let me take this. Stop spotting me. I need this. Take this mask too? Please. Oh my god. Ravenet, it would be great to know. Oh, I have that here. Run faster. Everything's faster. Okay. Stalker, move recovery ration, make no noise, run and walk faster. Okay. Oh, here's some.
Hello, bro. I need to stab you. Oh, I got this thing already. Ow. Oh, yeah. I got this freaking perk that... Makes it damage me. Okay, it's all the way over there. Ah, man! It hurts! Okay, over there. Just a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I need three! Oh my god. How am I gonna do that? Is there some health here? Oh, there is. Oh my god. Oh my god. That killed me! <laughs> that did 15? Man. Oh man, that was so painful. Repurpose rations to get ambrosia instead. Increases the number of fiends. Oh, great, great combo, man. Well, I guess I need this. Okay. It's pretty hard. It's not very... Maybe that's just me, though. It's not very scary or tense. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it could benefit from maybe some more like scary sound design, maybe like scary footsteps or something. If you would hear it stomping around the field, I'd be more scared. Can I collect it through here? Oh, I can. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Can it see me? Oh. Bitch, I Bitch, can't I see! Can't see. Bitch, snap out of it. Bitch, Bitch, I can't, I can't fucking, fucking see! see. That did so much. Okay, where is the... Uh, where are my items? I'm just gonna leave it here until I find like three. Uh, 
Uh. Oh my god, healing. Oh, did it pick up back? No, okay. It's still there. I thought maybe it picks back up the... The thing that it drops? The fragment? Just hang Zal here. Alright, uh, let's go that way. Give me some healing. Give me some of that ambrosia. Oh, is it, is it infected? my hatchet. Oh, it's over there. The monster. Oh, great. <laughs> Bro, I just healed. Don't do that to me. Can't turn on my light. Oh, here we go. Get it. They sensed your yummy health points. For real? Okay, like my max health is increased, but it's like, great. <laughs> oh. It saw me? Sorry, just going under. Oh my god, that's just that that does so much. It does 25. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really bad at the game. Not ideal, ideal half damage. Maybe it's like more gentle. Honestly, the game would probably benefit from uh, having uh, co op. I've never... like, I keep picking them, but I haven't seen them. Should just collect some and then just leave. Maybe. It's just three days left. I'm never gonna get enough. That way. Those freak fuckers are in the water now. Guess I won't get that. Let me go through here. Oh, this is just more water. Health. Hi, Gomi. Hmm. Oh, 
30. I've totally got to make it. I believe. I hope so. Uh, you didn't see anything. Okay. It'd be nice if you could destroy those. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let me collect some more. Please. No, Corbin. No, 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 no. Don't climb on the desk. No. Sixty nine left. Well, I'm good in health for the moment. As long as I don't get caught, of course. Because a devourer does quite a bit of damage. Give me this. Yummy. I hear it over there. It's always when I'm playing stealth games, I feel like I have to be quiet myself, too. <laughs> what if they hear me, you know? Oh. See? What if he hears me? He heard me, obviously. Ow. My weapon. Just gone. Oh! Motherfucker! <laughs> I haven't seen you in 8,000 years. Hope you're healthy and doing well. Uh, I mean, I am 8,000 years old, so I count that as an absolute win. Remember the game where he talks in the mic? You played that recently? Which one? Every game that kind of... Every game that does that is kind of... Has been kind of a miss. <laughs> Or do you mean the... Oh, what's the game? I don't know, those, those short story games. Where, the one where you hide in the closet. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Feel, fiends cannot sense you when the lantern is off. I kept trying to turn off the lantern near those things, thinking, oh... Maybe that helps with visibility, you know? Yeah, that one with the girl. Okay, good game. Yeah, the one where the girl with the stalker... Ex-girlfriend, that one, right? Where, uh... Where you're cooking the, la the lasagna, that one? VTuber game? Honestly, I'm not gonna make it. Start over. Unless I like banish it, but three times? It was literally the VTuber stalking. Is it... Was it the... The Chillas art game? I don't think so. The Chillas art game had nothing to do... Or the parasocial. I hated that one. Because it had nothing to do with parasocialism. <laughs> it was about... But that one... Did, did... Did that one have the voice stuff? There was another one. 
Where you actually had to be quiet. Oh, I can't come up with the name. There's like, it's like a horror... Oh, you have to start over. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Name a Chilla's art game that you like. The one with, like, the Starbucks is okay. But I... I fucking hate Chilla's art. There are so many good games out there. Especially horror games. That have more... That are, that, that are in the same-ish art style. But are... In every single way, way better. They just pop off because, you know, they have given the permissions to large companies and stuff. Like, it's the one thing that they can play. I will shit on Chilla's art every... every opportunity I get. If it gets brought up, I will... I will shit on it. Radio station was pretty good. I don't think I've played that one. Is that the one with the really bad driving? I have essentially almost become like a weird horror game streamer, right? <laughs> and after playing so many... I just know that there is way better stuff out there. So it makes me sad when those are getting skipped over in favor of Chilla's art. Have you played Corpse Party? Yes. I have played Corpse Party on the 3DS. No, the, the Yuria is hating Ark, not hating Yuria Ark. Don't worry. I have not streamed Corpse Party ever, but I have played it in my uh, own time. Like, for example, the shopping list game, that one, that was such a pleasant surprise. It's the same they've made the one where with the weird the video game. And those were free. And they are like up to like around an hour long. If not more. And they're so much more created. Dude, why am I finding so much of this shit now? It's like everywhere. I guess since it's I have to redo the tutorial. <laughs> I'm just trying to collect as much as possible so I don't have to do it in the later level. <laughs> I heard the second corpse party is not was not that good. I don't think I have played that one. I know that there are... I, I recently... After the stream yesterday... I was looking into more Pokemon horror games and there are a lot of them that are made in RPG Maker and stuff. That might be a fun stream. Just exploring weird horror ROM hacks. Well, they're not even ROM hacks. They're just using... Pokemon material. Because one of them showed up on my homepage. It was someone, it was just like, Pokemon blah blah blah, ho o -oh ending. And it was, um, I thought it was a ROM hack when I clicked on it. 
but it was uh it was an RPG maker game. Okay. Uh I will leave now then. Escape. I need a 200. Oh, it's not killing my health now. That's why I could use everything. Yuri, I placed a maze game. <laughs> Re Girl plays maze game reaction. looking at me like, what the fuck? Why are you doing that? Yeah, you're such a handsome boy. Handsome kitty. Oh, we're taking this. Alright. Find that asshole. Around here would be nice. Since we are near the... Altar thing. There he is. Uh oh. Dropped it. So... <sighs> the controls... For the thing is like you'll click once and then you are in throwing mode and then you have to click it again to throw it but out of pure like instinct for most of these games it's like right click is readying and then left click is throwing so what i do is i click right click and then i drop the <laughs> drop the item ow But it's just double left click. Oh, there he is. More of this. There he is. Bye okay. bye, bitch. Oh. He doesn't do this much damage now. He's like floating! <laughs> okay, where is the thing? Oh, here it is. Let me heal first. So this slowly heals? Oh, I gotta sip it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, back that way. Banish. Yeah! 
Or at least left click to charge it and then release to throw. Exactly, exactly. What does that mean? Where is he? We are ready. Choose a new strength increase, range or throwable, or severe and damaging the devourer. Parasite. <coughs> oh, that's he's dealing half. Okay. We need tools. I don't need... I have enough. I can just run. <laughs> I can enter and exit. But let's uh, see. There's still some more left. Do we just get bonuses? I love this warning. Sorry, I can't read. More health. Getting this. Okay. I'm gonna leave it out. Are you saw me? It's nice that he kind of just teleports away after grabbing you at least, so you have time to get away. But you can be pretty unlucky if he like, respawns near you. over there, right now. This healing is pretty nice. Okay, should I just leave? I can just leave. Hurry, 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 hurry! Ah! Motherfucker! Bye! I can leave now! <laughs> Temporarily, okay. Let's try to maybe... Try to banish him now, at least. But now the pitchfork should be enough. Do I need to do it three times? The loss of hearing also turns off the light. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Get 
there he is. I just need to poke him. Stupid fiends keep seeing me. Thank you. The parasite wasn't very useful. <laughs> and then my health. Okay, I do need three. <laughs> oh, hello. I gotta go. No, run, bitch, run! How to get away from him? Uh, passing through. Okay, let's see. There's another pitchfork over there. Shoot anything. Okay, there's one. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, I think he found us instead. <laughs> no! <laughs> Astral Eclipse, thank you for following. My pitchfork! Where did he respawn? Over there. Yo, I just got the thing. He is. He is. They can't outrun run him. Oh. Wow. I escaped somehow. Ooh, give me some of this. to go. Oh. One more. Can I get another pitchfork over there? Yes. Ow. Is he over there? There he is. The stinky boy. You can see him by his stinkiness.
it's hard to see him. I don't know if he's over here, but where? Oh, there. Is he gonna hear me in the water? Yes! Oh, it's okay! Uh, where is the... over there? Don't die now. We're gonna banish him. Wow! The fuck is an Abroski? Our all man! I win! You die! Choose one strength. Using rations increase your maximum. After every successful banishment gain 20 more. Like 20 seems so little. Yuria has broke me when I hear it. it's okay. My thought is I'm living lav that's okay, that's okay. Some of you say I'm ugly. That's okay. I'm living lavish. Some of y'all about to be very mad at me. Some of y'all is fat and ugly and unattractive. It must be sad. It, it must be sad. But that is okay. Just be who you are. I'm happy you nod. I'm happy you nod. I'm happy you nod. It, it, it's perspective. <laughs> Oh, really? I'm ugly? That's okay, that's okay. More will appear. Divine harvest. Oh. The devour trails, okay. I don't have enough health. Can you only use the pitchfork then? But it says... Below 25 cannot be sacrificed on tools. Oh, it has 35. Never mind. <laughs> 25. Well, let's try it. Can I pick where I start then? Damn. Already. Well, that was nice. Plus 60. on the other side? I could technically leave and still win. I'm not sure if there is any benefit in me getting more now. Oh. Would be nice if you could get some better rewards from the get-go. For the next levels.
So hecking noisy, everything. Everything makes noise. We need to go that way. Don't kill me. Okay. Weapon. Wish I could throw this too. Pitch trucks are free and can be found at each landmark, okay? I see some over here. Oh my God. Bitch, I can't see. Bitch, Why can't you see? Me. Bitch, we are in tall grass. See. Is he over there? I poke him? Will we even do enough damage? This is where I started? If you can't see, then I can't see. Okay. Another pitchfork. Yes. Yeah, so much. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'll grab this and then just leave, I think. Like, here is an exit. Right by some more. 500! Let's go! 300 more than last time. No. That should be good. Bye bye. Bye bye, devourer. Bye bye, butterfree. At the moment, I I don't see too much point in banishing him. Like, it gives a lot of, uh... I guess it's high risk, high reward, but... It, I feel like the risk is too much since he does so much damage.
Okay. Well, let's try this again. Poison water. Oh, here! I can select my starter. Uh. What are items here? Stink pot. Okay. Can you not sneak attack him? It seems only with the hatchet. Since you can throw that. At least the pitchfork seems pretty tough since you have to get so close. I think I was only able to sneak attack him one time. Ow. So this is just like... Red corn. What? Get out of here! Where's the hatchet over there? Bet they taste like grapes. Come me. You don't see me. I'm going this way. Uh, there's nothing growing here. More poison water. Okay. Gonna go heal. I think I'll pretty much die if he spots me. There he is. There he is. Miss! I right clicked again. I right clicked again. It would be great if that could be changed. That's my only suggestion. <laughs> okay, um. Where to? Oh, that way? All the way? So just keep the light on at all times. At least the fiends don't do damage at the moment. <laughs> oh, it saw me. So, like, how the fuck are you seeing me? You're looking down? Oh. Let's cross the bridge, it is. Oh, there's a mask. Well, let's get it. Move faster while crouching. That's great, because I'm gonna be doing that all the time. They should have like, put like, pop up, like... Just telling you what it does. Why is my vision like this? It's 
Is it because I'm low health? Oh, that's nice. Everything here is noisy. I walked back here. I've already been here. Oh. It's gonna kill me. If it sees me, at least. Fucking, I did it again! I was like, oh, let me aim. Oh, it's just walking away. Don't you walk away from me! Wonder if I can pick up the hatchet again. Oh, almost stepped in the water. Ah, uh, I'll leave it. I need to have health first. Let me get the pitchfork. In the meantime... Ow! Motherfucker! Over here... Oh, almost stepped in it. See so here... Okay. No heartbeat? No. I mean, I assume that'd be pretty annoying, so... Just have to keep a close eye on it. Uh -oh. There was no way. <laughs> Dead. Uh... I mean, I can do the shovel, but I don't have that much unlocked. swap games, I think? Ah! Uh. Should I critique it? I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just really bad at it. Or if it's just kind of mid. <laughs> I really like the art style. I really like the lore. Yeah, it's pretty hard. So the... you have the pacifist approach, which is like, um... 
just collecting the ambrosia. Which, you know, the resources are very little. So the best way to do it is by murdering or banishing the devourer. But that one's pretty tough, or at least... <clears throat> Based on the cards that I've gotten, especially like everything around you hurts you or makes him go to you pretty easily. One thing that I would like maybe is a map on the... Uh, on the screen. Or just like the layout. Just play badgers instead of it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do you guys have any uh, suggestions as to what I should play at the moment? Should I play the dino game? The not Dino Crisis game. Dino Trauma. Dino Trauma. More against the storm. Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I, I, because you guys mentioned it, it does like kind of look like it. How can you resist a title like that? I mean, that's why I bought it. I bought it yesterday. They have... Uh, Steam has a... First-person shooter festival thing going on. It would be great if the Steam site worked. Okay, here we go. So if you guys have suggestions... I mean, recommendations of things that I should buy... From the list, let me know. I currently have on my wish list Soul Slinger. Apparently, that's like a roguelite FPS. It looks kind of cool. But I wanted to watch some footage of it before buying. Yeah, lots out there. I should just subgenre boomer shooter. Cultic is on sale right now. If anyone really likes retro shooters, I highly recommend that one. That's still one of the the favorite ones that I've played. The crunchiness was just so good. Cultic good. Yeah, it's seven bucks. Go get it. <laughs> oh, mouse. Uh, let me add that to my first. I saw uh, Scallop talking about it today. Looks cool. Steamboat Willie, if it was a first person shooter. Ugh. Trepang. Trepang. Is 40% off. That one was good. I recommend. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a small break to... Make some tea. I think I'm gonna save Dino Trauma for a pure separate stream. Ow! Ow! And uh, I will play some more... Storm? Or should I play... Emerald Rogue? Those are the ones that are just like in my go-to games now. <laughs>
storm storm. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make some tea.
That's me, I'm just plugging in the controller. <laughs> Don't worry. PlayStation controller always breaks stuff, so it breaks sound settings. <laughs> so I thought I'd do it while on the PRV screen. Exactly. It does exactly that. And it breaks VTube Studio. It breaks my sound because it thinks your controller is a speaker. Everything should work now. <laughs> or it should be back to normal. Oh. Okay, I think... Yeah. Yeah, it does have a speaker. It's just annoying how Windows automatically switches it over because it thinks, like, its main property is a speaker. Does it even work? Does it play the audio through the <laughs> PlayStation? controller I thought okay well if we're gonna play the the Sekiro game I might as well use a controller for it uh what's it called again I downloaded it in the meantime Kanagi Usagi I will try it out for a bit see if I like it I'm gonna be very bad at it, I think. Oh, Nadu! Ah, thank you! Your, dual, your controller is not supported by the game. That's great. <laughs> How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, what? <laughs> oh my god, you were playing internal yes. server error? <laughs> Wait, a Corona game? Is this chanbara.exe? Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Yuria. I am a red panda. Nice to meet you. Oh, it does have English. Aho! I hope you're all doing good. If you need to rest, eat something, take a nap, go to school, go to work, anything, <laughs> be sure to do so. Take care of yourself. Hello, hello. I usually play uh, horror games, Souls likes. Apparently, this is one of them. Sort of. I mean, it plays very fluid. If you need to take a nap at school, it's exactly the same. <laughs> it's literally Sekiro. Anyway, thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Hey yo! Mocha Black, thanks so much for following. Hello, nice to meet you. The sound effects are kind of mid, though. But it feels good to play.
Low attacks cannot be parry. Okay. So far, so good. Red Kiro. <laughs> Stepping towards the enemy counter is triggered, inflicting significant core damage. You can parry trust attacks, but you cannot guard. Is this B? Oh, it's a uh, Mikiri counter. Yeah, it looks really good. again. Oh, I touched it instead. Jump. Let's heal. Okay. That's what Yuria looks like in real life. Which one? Yo, what if I could import my model into this? That would be sick. Oh, right. X is not actually X. <laughs> We have a really good base going on here. Maybe they just wanted to release it for free because it's very obviously... ...inspired? Cat General! We're doing this one. Oh my god, look at her boobs! There's boobs physics! Bye, bitch. Oops. I meant to dodge forward. I mean, move forward. Can I strong attack? 
No. Ow. Ooh. Thank you for the 12 months! I appreciate the support, man. One year! Ow! I wanna heal. Oh, shit. I was so slow, apparently. <laughs> so cute, no DLC, but it's extra base. <laughs> I'm only looking at the booba. Does this... Oh, look at that. Damn. She should get a bra. <laughs> like, Damn. Nameless warrior. Oh, this is the tutorial. Okay, let's do another one star then. Let me have a sip of my tea. Hard to disagree. I mean, if you're gonna fight. Gets in the way, you know. Sekiro Mota replaces Sekiro with this girl. That probably exists. There are like a shit ton of model swaps for Sekiro. I have Sekiro on console, so I can't mod it. You can't do the... the tap dancing. <laughs> Cause then response kinda slow. Requires jumping, bitch. Oh, I'm dead. Already. That was bad. Wanted to limit your breathing? No. There's a reason sp why sports bras exist. The boing boing is more annoying when you're working out than having it just in place. Bitch, I pressed jump. Oh, it's fine. She's already dead almost. Depends on how much boy. No, no, no. Like, I don't really have big boobies. 
But yet, like, it's just like, even like when you're walking down the stairs, it's already, like, it's so quick. It, it's just a, it feels annoying. <laughs> Happy Merry Wednesday on birthday. Can't hang out, do the things, have fun. Thank you, Digimora. Take care. What's this? Little Demon Guard of Mist. Okay. Good night, Mocha. Pretty close, almost. Do that. Come on. Heal. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm a Zed. That's a new move set. Damn! Her sword is definitely bigger than mine. to back down so I could heal, but I should have just tried to counter it. Did Leaf live like Sekiro? I bought that for her. Because I really thought that she would like it, but I don't think she ever beat it. <laughs> Leaflet is unable to finish a video game, true. Would prefer... I mean... It has to be multiplayer, right? <laughs> That's something easier to go back to.
almost got greedy. Need to heal. Oh shit. No, I backed up. <laughs> uh wait, 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 let me uh, say thank you. Shrimp IO and Pol Polish hat. Thank you so much for following. She doesn't make a lot of things. The game is fun. It's literally just Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. It's good. <sighs> Try to finish every game I play and all the achievements. Jesus Christ. That's an every gamer problem. I don't think it's such a... I don't think it's bad to, like, not want to finish a game. Like, I only finish games if I really, really enjoy them. And, you know, it's hard. <laughs> if they're long, oh, holy shit, and I don't thank you. Anonymous just gifted to seven subs. Holy shit, everybody, please enjoy your gift sub. Oh, I thought I was dead. Not a lot of time to heal. Let's die twice. <laughs> Hi, Yuria. What game is this? Anime Sekiro? That's right. <laughs> it's called... It's called... Uh... Kanagi Usagi. Okay. <laughs> this is free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's not... It's just fighting. But it's good fighting. Can I turn off the music? Yes. Rendering? Hi! Ooh! Ooh! What this? Oh, I thought it said ceiling. <laughs> Scaling. 
Let's get some custom BGM going. Uh, have I ever shown the like Pokemon sounding? I, I probably have. Where have I even saved those? Just searching Yuria in my folder. So it's a really cool tech demo, or really good? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Let me get this. Uh, no. But load it, load it here. Oh, I did. I have Yuri at battle theme. I will try to play it. It's been a while. Since I've listened to it, honestly. Uh, here. Stream stuff. BGM. Yeah. Why isn't she attacking? She's very passive. Ow! Her sword is so long! Oh! I'm already dead! There was a stab. Second face. What? She bunny hop me. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the hob, right? <laughs> Just gets behind me. to make you recounter that one. Oof! <laughs> You're right, that's Riley met her bad. <laughs> I, I I got it wrong. I read them wrong. The the Sekiro speedrunner girl should play these. This would probably be so easy for her. very much the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the attack pardons too. This is uh, this is just Genichiro, which is like the the skill check boss of the game. All that is missing is the lightning. Maybe the final girl will have a gun. <laughs> there was a nice kill for her. Okay. Ooh, wait! Okay, it's actually driving me insane. The song. I want cool battle music. Maybe should just... Oh, your clips. Oh, wow, that's new. I can see clips that people made. These are probably all clips that people made by accident. Playlists. There we go. The the in-game music sounds like Toho, yeah? Patterns reminded me... I'm not sure... Uh, I very much recognized it, but I can't say which one. It's definitely one of those enemies that just grabs their weapons. Like, has their weapon, like an axe or something? 
in both hands and then just kind of smashes you. I very much recognized it, but I have no idea what the enemy's color is. Jump instead of Mikiri. Make you return for the first time. Fucking bunny hops. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I should have. I was like, where is this from again? This is DMC. Oh wait, I still have another life. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah! It was the DMC song that did it. got a ping from Pokemon Sleep that the main maintenance is in 30 minutes. Let me collect my stuff. <laughs> Pull that devil trigger. It's not too lot. Let me know if I need to adjust it. Okay, level three. These are all three. Night Fox, Crimson Shadow, or Niten Usagi. Which one should I do first? I feel like this one is like the final boss. Dark Dark Link. Mm-hmm. 
Pull the devil trigger. Okay, wait. <laughs> Freaking. Yes. Oh, hello, mommy. Is this Lady Butterfly? No, no, no. She's like way faster, right? Oh, the monk! Yeah, it's the monk! I see it now. lot of trouble with Sekiro, to be honest. Like, it didn't click for ages. Oh, see. The problem with Sekiro is that you basically have to erase typical Souls combat from your brain. Uh, yeah, I guess in the beginning, but even that, like... I just couldn't get the timing and stuff. Like, I would just play with the mashing L1, you know? For a while. And it's like, well, it's either I block or some of these at least will hit. Oof. Uh, okay. Should be very doable. The giant dude at the beginning. Oh, it was like the, the troll orc guy. I think I just like cheesed him. Like you push him up the push him up the side of the level. <laughs> Fuck. responding wrong.
dead. Oh, it was the ogre. Yeah, it was an ogre. <laughs> I remember the headless being really tough enemies. Fuck those guys. They dropped like super rare items. Double. I'm gonna die. But keep fighting. Who knows? Nope. <laughs> Start saying Ishin is one of the best bosses I've ever fought. Mm. The only real boss that I did not like was the Demon of Hatred. Because the that, that was the boss that I was stuck at for a while. Like, the Demon of Hatred made me quit the game. <laughs> Until way later, I picked it back up. I was like, okay, you know what? I want to continue playing this game. I liked it, but it was just this one boss. And then there was this way to cheese it. You could also make it fall off the map. Or like it would walk into the... Or like off the stage. I haven't finished Sekiro, but I have yet to meet someone who likes Demon of Hatred. Demon of Hatred is a Dark Souls boss in Sekiro. Right. Like you... Just weren't like... Parry... You weren't like unable to properly fight it. Like a actual Sekiro enemy. It was like a Bloodborne boss <laughs> inside of uh maybe more inside of Sekiro. And he has way too much health. Yeah, so the I cheesed it. And it's an optional boss, like you can just ignore it. But you know, I wanted to try to beat every boss. Someone modded Lady Maria into Sekiro for what boss? <laughs> Lady... Uh, Lady Butterfly? Lady Butterfly was one of the first few bosses that... Like, it, I, that was like maybe the second or third boss that I did in the game. Because it's optional to go into that area at the start. But I played her like a Bloodboard enemy. Like, you could kind of just dodge on the side and then keep hitting her. <laughs> I did not beat her the proper Sekiro way. With her actual moveset? Oh, holy shit. I know that Neo also has... Neo 2 has a Lady Maria. <laughs> Is that a reference or...? Man, this was a good game. Okay, let's try again.
us Kuro Helldog and Season More 911. Thank you for following. doesn't really... She just ducks under the sword. <laughs> she doesn't step on it. She just ducks under it. dead. Ow! <laughs> Maria Neo 2 is a Spanish one and I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with Lady Maria. It was just a coincidence because it came out at like a similar time. And it's just like a blonde woman, I guess. <laughs> with a sword. God, those hits. So hard. Warm button. The difference is mostly is that I feel like these enemies get a lot more damage than in Sekiro themselves. Like it would be kind of hard to actually beat a boss by fully depleting its health in Sekiro. Like you would fully do it with like the parry mechanic, right? Here it seems very doable. Look at her, she's asserting dominance over me. 
<clears throat> Fuck, I had another life, I didn't know. I thought I was dead. I double tapped. I wanted to jump on her. Fuck! Don't get greedy, Yuria. I got greedy. Stand up, Yuria! I can't! My back's itchy. I think Maria especially just represents a lot of countries tied to... Try to make connections with Japan. Maria is from Spain and a protagonist. William, who as an actual person, is from England. I don't know anything about Neo lore. I haven't played it. I just know about Maria because she looks hot. <laughs> Give me a good looking... Female character with a sword. I'm fucking down. I'm on my knees. I wasn't satisfied with my gameplay. <laughs> kind of looks like just she's just falling over. <laughs> It's not ogre.
Oof. <sighs> okay, we got her. <laughs> See, okay, that's fine. I get it. Where is this from again? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, girl. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Neo-Worm was very close to the realist of Japan. Of course there were no demons. Are you sure about that? Did you live in that era? No, I don't think so. Maybe there were demons. Fuck, would you give using me? That one, that one, that, like, dumb. I was the demons. Which boss is this? Everything is very recognizable, but like at the same time, like I have no idea. I haven't played the Sekiro enough. That's a jump. Phase two, Genichiro? Like the... The one before the final boss? Maybe Yuria is a yokai from feudal Japan. Try <laughs> over 600 years old. Who knows? When you're a 600 year old yokai and you just decide to start VTubing instead.
My hands are sweating. Yo, this is yo. Thank you so much for the nine months. No, 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 don't quit. I thought this one would take a lot longer. <laughs> okay, final boss. Final. Usagi. Let's get some banger going. Not what I meant. <laughs> Here's a good one. Oh, my stomach is rumbling. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Mom, let you have two swords. Man. 
superior rabbit, goddammit. My fucking stomach, shut up. <laughs> I need to beat this boss so I can afford food. We're gonna barbecue some rabbit tonight. <laughs> doing the bunny hop. Ugh. I just want a few carrots. I have carrots. You have to buy back. <laughs> oh, the bar's so slow. She's trying to backstab you, lady. She got me. Do you think I'm intimidating her? <laughs> okay. okay. I think I'm confusing the AI. <laughs> Why the fuck is she doing this? Ow. It's too slow, like the bar doesn't fill up either. Ow. Okay, I deserve that.
Fuck! I need to counter it! At some point, like, I'm super into it, and then my mind goes other places, and it's like, oh, fuck. I got hit. I overthink my moves. I've got to become one with the sword. Check off my physics, I told you. <laughs> Yay, I beat the... I beat the game. She did it, child! That was, uh... That was really cute. Really fun for, uh... A short little free title. The superior body. 
despite her beating me like three, four times, and I only beat her once, but I take that! I won! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. I really like these kind of games. I hope FromSoft makes more like that. Now S rank all of them. Oh my god, no. Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> it's hard for me to talk during this kind of games. I get so focused. As you can see, I, like, I'm not even fucking blinking. <laughs> Just the pure concentration. <laughs> But it was great. Makes me wanna wish there was more to Sekiro. There were there were all those things like, oh, why isn't there like a the a DLC that told more about like the electricity powers and stuff? That's unfortunate that we never got it. Yeah, I highly recommend you get a feel for it or try it out. It's free on Steam. I feel like it's easier than Sekiro itself, though. Despite it just copying the movesets, it felt easier than when I played Sekiro. Yeah, I need it for PC. Maybe I'll pick it up on sale for some time. Or s And, uh, see ya. Uh, if I can play around with it. Uh, that's what I also did with Resident Evil, but Resident Evil 2 is on sale pretty often. Oh, it might have been pretty doable with, like, mouse and keyboard. Because it's right-click. Oh, well. It felt right on the controller. It's easier when it's just bosses without anything in between. True. Because you don't have to... Poop. You don't have the annoyance of getting there first. And you can just focus on the boss. That's always nice. And it makes it easier to practice. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going I am going to leave you all with that. Tomorrow I Stream again? What am I playing tomorrow? Tomorrow's Manor Lords? Oh, Saturday's Manor Lords. Oh, tomorrow the Citadel! The Citadel! Oh, yo, I'm looking forward to that too. I hope it's gonna be good. It's like a anime girl. Free yo, that sticker attack. That's so. It looks so creepy! <laughs> It looks so creepy, thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh, the Citadel? Good luck. Wait, why? Is it it's isn't it like a gory anime girl uh a boomer shooter? Wait, there's more! Wait, what? Dry gore. What does that mean? This one wasn't there before, right? Wait, let me try it one time. This one definitely wasn't there before. It appeared after beating everything. No, that's the monk. Yes, this one has a spear. Oh, just kill me. Just kill me. I've had enough. I am very hungry. I thought it was over. I thought I just had to beat my freaking evil cousin or something.
You will see. What's the difference between regular gore and dry gore? I mean, I'm just shooting up like enemy girls. This girl looks like she is from Toho. <laughs> anyway, we shall see. I... I saw someone asking, it's like, oh, is there any, like, boomer shooter that's similar to Cultic? And someone said, like, oh, not really in style, but in gameplay, it's kind of similar. And they recommended, uh, uh... The Citadel. That's how I found it? And then at the perfect timing... There was an FPS sale. And it got on sale. Yeah, the only the, the the top comment was like, uh blood. But other than that. <laughs> okay, I'm actually actually leaving you all now goodbye goodbye i am gone <laughs> um, ma, 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 ma. let me find someone to rate she must not yeah yeah i'm getting like shaky <laughs> i'm gonna eat my butter chicken from two days ago <laughs> As I have a lot, a lot of it left still. Just been eating it with everything. It's gonna be good. Let me pop this out. Taste the chicken with the butter sauce. Don't get no butter sauce on me. I don't like the way you taste with my biscuits. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, okay. I'm also feeling like slightly tired already, so that's that's good because I can go to bed earlier, fixing my sleep schedule. <laughs> we love that. Okay, I'll send you all over here. She just started streaming. She's playing Buckshot Roulette, which is absolutely great. Uh, rate? Rate, no sub. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for, again, for the follows, for the. Uh, Many subs, thank you. Uh, thank you for the bits, thank you for hanging out, thank you for uh, everything. I'm, I'm not gonna repeat that each time. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. <laughs> Good luck with that sleep, thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye!